Okay, and we are now live for recording for the VOD channel, whenever that goes up. Someday, I'm actually going to finally like put that VOD channel up, and I'm going to stop making that joke. And I'll stop saying that at the beginning of these videos. But yeah. All right. Continue where we left off. Yeah. Stuff's happening, y'all. Okay, so I, I saved in the middle... I saved in like like not in the middle but like right when it started because I wanted to see like how they were gonna handle if they were gonna reveal like with Kokichi and Kaito to see ugh, who had been murdered. And no, the result is that one of those two has been murdered, as far as we know, but we don't know who it is. So for whatever reason, just for kicks and giggles, because I'm sure Mo obviously Monokuma knows who the the person is because that way they can like you know he can fucking <sighs> confirm it when we vote for who the blackened is but yeah we'll see okay but one thing i didn't get to do i didn't get to do, go through the evidence so i'm just gonna go through this real fast okay so victim's body is covered in the hangar excel store we don't excel store we don't know who they are for some reason hydraulic press uh there's an up and down there's a safety function but for some reason it's not working uh, it says it's supposed to stop when the infrared sensors detect the living thing, but it didn't work on Kibo, but we thought it was because he was a robot, but apparently it, it probably, it apparently was used to kill either Kokichi or Kaito or both. There's these two Excels at the scene of the crime. One was in storage with his cockpit closed. The other one was in the middle of the hangar with its hatch open and the cockpit exposed. There's enough space in the cockpit for one person. There's an electronic lock, electronic lock on the hatch that only the monocubs can open. Found on the floor of the hangar is the three arrows. The disassembled crossbow was in the bathroom. The bag for it was in the bathroom. The blood, the poison bottle, which, goddamn, Shuichi, can you, like, lock the door to your lab? This is the second case in a row where someone went to your lab and brought poison to the crime scene. <laughs> like, goddamn, buddy. <laughs> Come on, be responsible. Blood stain in the bathroom. Then there was the window, which H winch is wide. None of the labs can lock, remember, except for Angie's by special request. I think Shuichi should have that request. I think maybe Shuichi should be like, hey, this room has things that can actually kill people in it. Maybe we should go ahead and lock it. Maybe. Maybe he should do that. <laughs> when the door was discovered. Uh, the left sleeve was sticking out from a hydraulic press, small heat hole, blah, blah, blah. Night before the body was discovered, Himiko was seen going to the hangar. Coming back, she had a black bag with her, probably had the crossbow. It's the hangar door, protected by an electric barrier. The alarm will sound if it goes immediately. So, I mean, like, the thing about the hangar door and the alarm is going to be is that clearly, well, however they got in, they couldn't have gone into the front door. So that's why it's going to be like Himiko or somebody went to the window and handed Kaito the the weapon or the poison, whichever one. I have a Maggie. Maggie! The Electra Hammer. There was a used one found near the three Exels. 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 The, the things. Um, they can disable any electronics they used on. They run out of power very quickly. And a single use on Exel will completely drain the Electric Hammer. The day before the body was discovered, there was three of them surrounding Monokuma. Monokuba said they were just observing his movements. They weren't actually attacking him. And then there's the chaff grenade. Lasts about two hours. Covers an area about 50 yards. Can only be used once. There's three of them. There are many poisons lined up on the shelves in our lab. We found Kokichi's clothes stuffed in the bathroom. And no one has seen Kokichi in the entire investigation. Okay, so my theory... I have two theories. I have two theories. Theory number one... Um, Kokichi and Kaito both got crushed in the press. So it's not going to be a matter of like one of them is alive and the other one's dead and we're trying to figure it out. One of them is like, I'm going to, I, 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 that, the one theory is that, one theory is that, um, they, they both got crushed in the press. So we're not trying to figure out, like, who did it. They're both dead. 
Now, the question of that is, how do we vote for them? Like, I think, like, because they brought it up last trial where it was like, I think they said if it's a tie vote, then uh, if it's a tie vote, then that means it'll um, it'll just be both of them. I might be wrong. But there's also five of us. We can't tie a vote. Okay, so I'm not sure how they're going to do that. Sound off if you've been murdered for a bear trial. <laughs> The tie vote only matters if you got one right. Okay. So that means that you could tie the vote and do it. But, but we can't tie a vote because there's five people. So if they're both dead, you can't. You physically can't do that. Okay. So my guess it'll be that, but it'll be a twist somehow. But I don't know. The other guess is after looking through the... Um, the other guess is that looking through the uh, evidence right now is that one of them got killed in the press and the other one's hiding in an exile, exosol. I don't know how they're doing that because, because they said only the model cups could open them, but they said one was open and one was closed. So like, like I'm guessing like one of them is like still alive and hiding in it. I don't know. That's my other guess. Or my third guess, which is I have no idea what's going on. So we'll see. Anyway, hi, Professor. Okay. Let's let's get back to this. Anyway, Monokuma, Monokuma just told us. Okay, so no, it's just, it's the, uh, my I, I the first one the first theory is completely just shattered. I'm going with my second theory because <laughs> he just said that. I did that whole thing, and then I really if I just gone one line, he was said it. Okay, fine. So my second, that's my, that's my theory then. I think the either I'm completely reaction. wrong anyway, or I don't know which one it is, is the thing. Uh, like, I'm not sure who died, actually died. To start the trial under these like I'm thinking it's Kokichi, but I think that's just about? because Kaito, be, it being Kaito is too obvious. Kokichi. But at the same time, the fact that it'd be that obvious could also be a red herring in itself. Too soon to decide anything for I have no idea what's going on, is always my guess. <laughs> Kaito was the victim. How long are you going to say that? The victim is Kaito. End of discussion. Maki's really, like, really thinking sure. that that's who it is. Blame it on the bear. I mean, it's basically all the bear's fault. The other person will never show themselves, right? Before we can identify a suspect... We need to determine who the victim is. Why are we even talking about something? I do think it's funny that Monokuma has made such a big deal about how it's like, <clears throat> you have to be present at the trial. But then, of course, in true Monokuma fashion, he's like, no, this is more fun. It's more fun if they're hiding. JK, lol. <laughs> I mean, that's the thing. I, that's why I was like there last night, like, Monokuma, like, Junko was all about the rules. She'd stick to the rules. They're like, she changed the rules all the time. What are you talking about? Oh, that's the wrong button. I would still work, though. So he could have killed him whenever he wanted. Kaito's coat, could he just close? It did have that. That was true. Well, no, yeah, okay. I think, I think that's why I need to shoot on was the clothes. Ancient the closers. There's no evidence. It's like, no, no. <laughs> there is evidence that Kokichi is at least naked somewhere in this building. <laughs> Too bad not another ultimate DNA tester. No, that was the person in the last game, and she turned out to be Cray Cray. Alright, I think I need to shoot on the Maki statement. Yeah, off to a good start. Me is the most chipmunk voice. <laughs> I have evidence that points to Kokichi being the victim. I found this in the hangar. Yeah. Is that Kokichi's coat? Yes, and look here. There are blood stains on the sleeve. That would indicate that Kokichi suffered an external injury, correct? Kokichi was injured. Right, because he had a um there was a hole in his clothes 
from like a small hole that was like a um, enough for a crossbow a bolt. So as long as we have that Kokichi evidence, got shot no doubt that or stabbed. You could stab someone with an arrow. Legolas did in Lord of the Rings. He did it all the time. He'd pull it out and just like stab somebody with it. There's so much like I want to know who like did the choreography for like Legolas and Lord of the Rings, and they were just like, just go go crazy shit. Like just they, the, the Peter Jackson just said like, dude, just come up with like the most wild stuff you can come up with for him. <laughs> like, all right, I want a scene where he like goes down the stairs and he like jumps onto a shield and like rides the shield like a like a skateboard and starts shooting people and then jumps off the shield and knocks into the guy's neck and he's like, dude, do that. Do it, please. <laughs> I've never agreed with something more faster in my whole life. See that there's a chance. If I do that, I think she'll realize there's a chance that Kaito's alive. Okay, so we're trying to we're trying to convince Maki that Kaito might not necessarily be the person who's who's dead. Because Ma Maki is Maki fully believes that Kaito is dead, but Shuichi is not convinced just yet. There's something peculiar about these clothes. Sleeve of the jacket. I mean, it's a sleeve. It's the fact there's a hole in it. Yeah. Just make him look really fucking cool, Mr. B Mr. Petterjix. <laughs> and then they kind of went a little too far with that in The Hobbit. And they're like, okay, it is possible to have too much of a good thing. The sleeve shouldn't have been empty. There should have been an arm inside the sleeve as well. So the fact that we found an empty sleeve should... Uh-oh. Well, I mean, this was bound to happen. Huh? You're dumber than I thought if I have to go out of my way to explain it to you. She's in mourning, Shuichi. You Don't you understand? Be quiet. Otherwise, you're just annoying me. One third of your triad is dead. Uh, maybe. I block for us the telescope. The coat sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press. Rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. Shit. But Kaito. Oh, these, these are some like. You can't see that. These are some bad angles. Then you weren't looking hard enough. Damn. Okay, so Maki, Maki is, you know, for someone who like doesn't like sword, she's pretty good at sword fighting. It couldn't have been anyone Damn it! I gotta. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I got to I got to take out the words. I can't leave them like that. Then you weren't looking hard enough. There we go. The coat sleeve sticking out of the hydraulic press is rather telling. It couldn't have been anyone else. Ah, damn. This is a tough one. Like these are usually, I'm usually pretty good. At these, this is this one's this one's kind of tough. Okay, good. I wasn't looking hard enough. What do you mean? He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. Uh, that that should have been. I should have. I should have. All that stuck out was his coat sleeve. If you understand to be quiet already, otherwise you're getting in the way. So, I mean, we got to press on his coat. He always dressed himself in a rather odd manner. He never put his arms through his coat sleeves. There we go. I'll cut through your words. Maki isn't playing around. Maki's the first, like, competent, <laughs> like, debater we've had in one of those. Yes, it's true. Kaito never put his arms through his sleeve. But that was just his right arm. He wore his left sleeve normally. <laughs> I never really noticed he did that. <laughs> That's so weird. And the left sleeve was the one we found outside the press. Knowing how Kaito wore his coat, that's awfully strange, isn't it? Then maybe neither of his arms were through the sleeves. I mean, Kaito's like that kid who always wanted to be an astronaut, and those kids are always a little spacey. But it's a possibility. In the end, your reasoning is full of holes. Stop getting in my way. I have to defeat Kokichi. Yuck, 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 yuck. Maki, what's really going on? Seems you've made up your mind that Kaito's definitely dead. 
Why, why would you do that? It's like Maki said, though. Kaito's got to be the victim. I can't figure out if like Maki's just the not Kokichi not like processing her grief well, or if oh. she knows something we don't. Yeah, that's true. Monokuma, hurry up and bring Kokichi here. We already know who the victim is. Huh? Already? You sure it's not too soon? We need the suspect present, now that he's the subject of our discussion. Gotcha. I guess I'll bring him out now. Hey, Mr. Suspect! That's your kill! Who's it gonna be? Oh my god, am I right? <laughs> Well, no, hold on. My theory, my theory was that one of them was in the Exosol. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah, it's Kaido. There you go. <laughs> okay. So, so Kokichi, Kokichi is the one that died. <laughs> unless he's not dead, unless they're both alive. There's a lot going on, so I just hid in an Exosol and kind of dozed off. That's why I'm so late. Anyway... Unless it's a trick of some sort, because we still can't see him. And the one that died wasn't Kaito. Stupid. That was just Okay, lie. never mind. It's good. <sighs> Wait, no, they're fucking with us. They're not gonna just tell us. <laughs> you guys thought I died? <laughs> I would never Well, how do we know that he's still not faking the voice? Like this isn't this isn't conclusive. It could be one or the other. Okay. Alright, well never mind. I, I I was too I was too premature with my victory. Wow, that's old. How old are you? My thought is not changed. Your appearance right now is fit. Open the hatch. Let's see if there's anyone inside. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're getting so angry over me. Shuichi's not convinced. Yeah, really. Shuichi's like, uh huh. That's right, Cracker Jack. No, until until we see him out. Until we see him out of the robot, we don't know anything. Show yourself. Oh, this is more for self-defense. Little Miss Cranky Pants would kill me if I showed myself. I mean, she probably would. Understand how you guys must feel. You can't believe it because I'm like this, right? <laughs> That's what I thought. In that case, I brought evidence. Evidence? Ta-da! The video camera. It was in the warehouse, but I brought it to the hangar, just in case. Man, that was a smart move. Thanks to this, I filmed it so everyone could see it clearly. The moment the victim died. Well, what did you say? Hey guys, want to watch a snuff oh, film? Alrighty then. Let's watch this shocking moment. Hey, Monokuma. Can you connect the video camera to the monitor? Roger that. <laughs> what is DR if not that? I mean... <laughs> Monica grabbed the camera from the exosol and hooked it up to the courtroom's can monitor and played the tip up. Monokuma hooked it up to his Nintendo Switch and showed us. There he goes, Squish. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> That's also not how, like, wait, that's also not hydraulic presses. They don't, like, go down that fast, though. Like, it's just kind of a slow, it's just kind of a slow push. Like, it's not like a video game thing where it's like, gunk, I say, as you're playing a video game. Even with Ka Kibo, it didn't do that. No. I'm not convinced. By the way, I'd like to add that this footage has not been doctored in any way. Oh, well, thank you. I totally believe you. <laughs> the camera only has the basic functions. 
Just the play, record, and pause button. So but then again, I'm going to have to, if that's the case, I'd have to prove how he's lying. Of course, I didn't upload it to a computer to edit it either. Right, Monokuma? My source is, guys, trust me. Oh, you can talk. Your answer is necessary for a fair discussion. I see. If it's necessary for a fair discussion, then I will answer. No trace of that footage was found on any of the computers inside the Academy. See, if it wasn't connected to any computer, then editing the footage would be impossible. Um, I mean, you can edit stuff on your phone nowadays. 100%. Like, Adobe has actually come out with a version of Adobe that is, like, specifically made for, like, editing, like, on your phone. Uh, a Premiere Rush or whatever it's called. Like, specifically it's made so that people can, like, do, like, TikToks and shit. He's saying that they stopped the recording and resumed it. That, that, that's not a bad guess, honestly. I, I think that'd be a good way to do it. Because he said, like, he could record Because, like, like I said, like, in the footage, like, the press, like, comes down. Like, it suddenly stops and then goes, gunk, really fast. So that would make sense. Because that's not the way it works. But also, I don't know. Himiko, please. Oh my god, girl. Stop it. Yeah, really. Now I'm starting to not feel well. Not necessary. Okay, guys. <laughs> I understand the model cubs are not here, so I guess Himiko has to pick up the slack. Why was Kaito killed? Kokichi had no reason to kill Kaito. He had just told us all that he was the mastermind, that killing game was over. So what would he gain by killing Kaito? <laughs> it looks like you finally believe that I'm the one in this exosol. I don't know. Yes. With that, we can definitively say that the culprit is... You. Huh? Why? You filmed the moment the victim died. Which means you were present at the scene. As the person who filmed this footage, you're the only one who could be the culprit. But if the culprit shot the video, why would they go out of their way to show it? Oh man, you got me! Yeah, I'm the culprit. Jeez, I totally dug my own grave. <laughs> oh, oops. I my bad, guys. Trial in an exosol after I killed Kaito. Of course, it was mostly to make the victim unknown. To jazz up this trial. I took that footage for proof so I could reveal it after you guys get the correct answer. But <laughs> I totally spaced out. I wasn't supposed to show it right away. So does that mean... You admit to the crime? We did it, guys. We figured it out. It's all over. It was that easy. Man, I dug my own grave again? Well, I don't think you guys will believe any of the excuses I make now. So It would be funny if that was just the end of it, though. Like, if that's literally just where it ended. It's like, oh, yeah, nope, that's it. That mean it's you did it, guys. Okay? Figured it out. Is it okay that this trial was so short? That's fine. We knew from the very start that Kokichi was the killer. But before we vote, I want to say something to Kokichi. You may be the mastermind, but I won't let you escape after you violated the rules. That would desecrate the killing game Junko and Oshima created, right? Your beloved Junko and Oshima. Junko? Whatever. It's voting time now. Let's go before Kokichi mm. changes his I'm I'm keep wondering if like Jun Junko's gonna make a comeback in this game if somehow. I'm really hoping she doesn't. I think it's kinda d I think we're kinda past Junko. I think it's time to let Junko just go. <laughs> we we as a society can exist without Junko Inishima. Despair has evolved beyond the need for Junko Nishima. 
Jindo. Jindo, eh? But for some reason, when I was first pronouncing her name, I was thinking, I was saying Junko, like junk, until I realized that that wasn't it. What? I mean, yeah, Shuichi. <laughs> I like, I like, I like how Shuichi's like, like does this thing, and Maki's like, "So you're calling one of us a murderer?" He's like, "What? What? Huh?" I'm like, yeah, dude, that is what you are saying. By the way, <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, <laughs> it is what you're saying. What? No, no, no. I, I'm not saying. I'm not saying one of you is the murderer. I'm just saying that someone other than Kokichi killed. Kaito, and it could have only been someone here. Damn it! But it's exactly like Shuichi said. I'm actually not the culprit. Seriously? What? But that contradicts what you said previously. Yep, first that was a lie. Sorry, I lied again. The real culprit of this case is super bad at hiding themselves, so I thought I could help. I pretended to be the culprit by using the footage. It made the game more interesting, too. All right, well, I'm glad we just already, like... Are you serious? <laughs> well, he didn't say the footage was wrong. He just said that he used it. Love that X's little makes Kikichi's movements. Yeah, it's a nice it's a nice detail. He killed Kaito. No matter how much he deceives us, it won't change our minds. Well, the fact that you're pushing so hard on that, Maki, he means that it, he Kokichi did not. To be the, only option. the only option? Is that really true? We're just going to leave it at that? I can't believe these people continue to be surprised when Kikichi lies. Okay, but he does it, like, all the time. He does it all the time, and then sometimes he tells the truth. There's no doubt that Kokichi is the culprit. We all saw that footage from earlier, right? I mean, okay, so here's the thing. The safety function is supposed to stop when it detects a living thing. And it didn't work with Kibo because he's a robot. And we think it doesn't work with Kaito. So, like... Do they want me to try and use it? Maybe it actually does, is supposed to work. But it just doesn't show Kichi using the press. It's true, it doesn't. Kichi killed Kaito with the draw press to contest right now, but is that even possible? No yeah, okay, they want me to use the safety function, clearly. So I guess maybe the safety function is... It, it does work, maybe? I missed the V. Okay. Would make it impossible to kill Kaito with the press. The safety function. Yes, it was written on the safety precaution. The hydraulic press will automatically stop if its infrared sensor detects a living organism. So the hydraulic press won't move at all if there's a living person under it? Which is why it couldn't have been used to kill Kaito. Which means it's more likely. Could have used to be used to kill Kibo. He's the only person. Wait, so, okay, so they're saying that, like, he was crushed, but he was already dead. He was already dead by then? So, I mean, he did have, like, an incurable cough of death. He might have just, you like, he might have just already died. You could disable the infrared yeah. shark. That's, well, the other thing is that, like, wouldn't that just, that would disable, like, everything, too. Like, it wouldn't just take out, like, the hydraulic press wouldn't have worked either. Come on, Maki, get it together. But you can't be too sure I wouldn't do that. I'm the type who would do anything for fun. Also, we don't have any evidence of a different murder method other than the hydraulic pro Well, no, we have poison and we have the crossbows. I have a plausible theory for the murder. What? There are other there were other things at the scene. This is a clue that suggests the victim was killed during Crush. I found it somewhere around the... Um... 
I mean, we could say the crossbow, but or the three arrows, maybe. Found the hanger, but like, well, no, we're trying to prove what we're we trying to prove. Blessing in the bathroom. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah, the swipe pattern because he's trying to prove. Hold on, what's the question? What clue suggests the cause of death was not the crushing with hydraulic press? <sighs> well, that doesn't really prove it. That just means that he had dragged. This is it. Okay. <laughs> I like how I continuously talk myself, try to talk myself out of the right answer. The blood stain goes from the bathroom all the way to the press. I'm just like I pick I pick what's the correct answer and I'm just like you know I don't know about that it's like well there were bullets fired from the gun that were found inside the victim I was like yeah but you know there's other ways to get bullets into a victim the arrows are or, no I was like it was that or the or the, or the arrows like th that's definitely like what I was gonna choose if that didn't work I was gonna choose the arrows next we only guessed that Kaito was killed in the bathroom. Since his body was crushed, we'll never know if Kaito died some other way. There's a single mop at this place to clean up evidence. I mean, like, yeah. Who'd have evidence to cause of death? Cause of death. Oh, yeah, because in the in the coat. There. Okay, so yeah, this is another thing. Like, if I I would have I would have wanted to choose the arrows too. Because, like, right there, like, that's... Okay, in my opinion, in my opinion, the way these games should work, and the way that, like, Ace Attorney games should work, the way these investigative, like, murder trial games should work, there should be multiple... There should be multiple, like, correct evidence to present. I, I've always, like... This has always been an issue I've had with Ace Attorney as well, is that where you like, you know what the answer is, but unless you present it in exactly the way the game wants you to, it will trip you up. Like you have to pick exactly what the game wants you to pick, even though you know, you're like, what happened with Kaito? Like what was the murder weapon? It's like, what proves that Kaito was like, murdered by something else like you would you, you might have wanted to pick the arrows because that's what we're train of thought we're going with is that somebody shot him with the crossbow but that's not what they want you to pick they want you to pick with the swipe blood stain which makes sense when you put it together but at the same time the other one would make sense too so in my opinion if i was a game developer who <laughs> if i was if I was a game developer of the murder mystery genre, I would make it so that multiple pieces of evidence could be used on certain presses like this. And maybe it's harder than I realize. Maybe there's things like flags and things like that that are going to make it tough. But I don't know. I feel like you should be able to present more than just the one piece. Anyway, okay, that's that was my soapbox. Let's keep going. Well, Himiko is the one. Himiko, Himiko is the one that brought him the uh, crossbow, as far as we know, because she had the bag. So that's why she's freaking out. I think there are at least a few parts of the game where you can present more than one piece of evidence. Okay, shit. What was the question? What weapon left the small hole in Kaito's sleeve? Well, it's either the crossbow or the arrows. Let's try the arrows. No. <laughs> Okay. See that see that's what I'm talking about. So you gotta choose the crossbow. This is it. See that should see that should work. That's a perfect example right there. It could it should have been either one. That's dumb that's stupid that uh, you can't use that you couldn't use the blood soaked arrows. Crossbow arrow would certainly leave a hole that small. Can we then conclude that Kaito was shot with that crossbow? If so, that crossbow just might be the actual murder weapon used to kill Kaito. Uh, I see. So surprising that a crossbow is the murder weapon. Seriously, Himiko, what's wrong? She probably needs to pee. Anyway, about Kaito getting shot. 
If that was his cause of death, then I wonder who shot him with the crossbow. Himiko is a bad actor. Well, she's not the ultimate actor. She's the ultimate, ultimate magician. Has there been an ultimate actor? I don't think ultimate cosplay counts. Has there been an ultimate, like... I, I mean, like, Saika was the ultimate idol, which is kind of like that. Has there, been ult has there been an ultimate actor in these games? I feel like ultimate actor would be would be an interesting murderer. They'd be kind of, be kind of hard to, to, to prove. I wonder who shot Kaito with the crossbow. Hag. What a mystery, <laughs> right guys? Who else but you could have done it? The shot would need to be fired from inside the hangar to hit Kaito. We couldn't go in the hangar. Well, no, you could. Ultimate VTuber. I mean, Ultimate Idol is basically the same thing, <laughs> but it would be funny if, like, at the trials, the VTuber just had their like, they just had their model showing up at the end. Kaito should have been there, but the murder weapon was a crossbow. Knowing that should be able to visualize the murder. Well, I, I'm gonna say it's it would have had to be like through the window because it's the only other way you could like get at Kaito. Sorry, Maki. Was possible to land a shot with a crossbow. Countering Maki a lot in this trial. Yeah, she really doesn't want to believe that. There was a window in the bathroom of the hangar. She really, she, 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 she really, she really is, 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 is hanging on to this. That was the her beliefs in this one. And remember that Kaito was confined to the bathroom. So if they shot Kaito through the window. I mean, Kaito's been, like, doing his cough of death since, like, the second chapter of the game at this point. So, I mean, if he is still alive, he could drop down the spot or make it to the end of the game. And, like, it, it's anime timeline. Who knows? It seems Shuichi wants to make one of us the culprit. Is that it? Is that what a detective does? I mean... When the, you guys are the only ones, <laughs> statistically speaking, most murders are more likely to happen from somebody you know. So yeah, the detectives probably do accuse a lot of friends of murder, actually. What's wrong, Maki? You seem like you're kind of on edge. Of course I am. When we said we would defeat the remnants of the spare... Someone got in our way. No, you don't understand. I'm not trying to... It doesn't matter how much you get in my way. I will absolutely defeat Kokichi. I won't let despair escape. I won't let it win. Now, now. Let's stop this boring fight and continue on with the not-so-boring trial. So we all agree that the murder could be done by anyone and not just me, right? That might be true, but I didn't know about the window. Neither did I. Really, Himiko? What's the matter? You've been weird since we mentioned small holes. <laughs> Praising? What? Oh my god. <laughs> I made the joke, and then they made it for me. Now that's definitely weird. Wait, no, don't blame, don't blame Samugi for that one. <laughs> that was... That one's on Himiko. Samui didn't know what she was saying. <laughs> She's just mentioned small holes. She didn't talk about Himiko's small holes. It does concern me that Himiko went to the hangar last night. I mean, Kibo did say that happened. He did see Spotter. Would Himiko even be, like, tall enough to, like, shoot through the window at Kaito if she was the one that killed him? I don't think she did it, but, like, I'm thinking of, like, I'm thinking of logistics now. I don't think she's tall enough for that. Could have 
run to her research lab, though. She's the crossbow was crossbow. taken apart, though, is the thing. I don't know about that. Like, the like I don't know. Like, Kaito took the they took they they took the crossbow. Like, I'm not making that up. They took the crossbow back, um, back apart after we saw them put it together. And Kaito knows how knows how to put it together. And Maki knows how to put it together. So, if they took it apart and they took it back to Kaito. Himiko couldn't have like shot Kaito with it because she it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been available. Like as it as it stands, we're about to get a mass panic debate. debate. You can tell Angari Telt's coming on. <laughs> he nailed it. Hatches electronic lock. I don't think that's relevant. Empty bottle. Um, Exiles. I don't think that's relevant. Poison. Small. What is Kibo's account? The night before the body was... The night before the body was discovered, Himika was seen going to the hangar and coming back before Axel's return. She had a black bag with her on the way there, but she didn't have it when she came back. The night before the body was discovered, Himika was seen going to the hangar and coming back before Axel's return. She had a black bag with her on the way there, but didn't have one to get back. Uh, no, you did not. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I missed by like a centimeter. <laughs> A fire and a mist. I missed both times. This caused the debate to go on for several hours. What are you talking about? It's not a lie. But Kibo saw you. I mean, you're assuming Kibo is telling the truth, which I am also assuming that Kibo is telling the truth. <laughs> Woke up, had a popsicle, continued the debate. Yes, Himiko was definitely accused Kokichi of murder. <laughs> <laughs> Missed again. <laughs> Passed out again. Stares at the camera. Kimiko. This is the bag you were carrying, isn't it? <laughs> and we're all totally real. We're not in a video game being played by a streamer. Eh. She went to the hangar with the parts for a crossbow. Uh oh. Well, it's decided then. Wait! That's wrong! I just brought it! No, that's wrong! I didn't shoot it! The truth! Please believe me! You're right. I believe you. Himiko is totally telling the truth. Not you! If you believe me, it makes me look like I'm lying! I really trust him to go here. She's acting very suspiciously. Sumugi is also much taller than Himiko, even if she was cosplaying as her without the cos pox. It would be kind of hard. Three arrows found on the floor of the hangar of the bathroom. The tips of all three with the blood. Well, that's, I don't think the em I don't think the, the empty blood uh, the the poison I don't think is relative at all. Exosols. I don't think that's relevant. What about the crossbow? A disassembled crossbow from the ultimate research lab. It was stored in a la large black case. It was complicated to assemble. It would be difficult for anyone who wasn't taught. Okay, so, so yeah, so I think. So it's got to be one of those. Got, I think I think we have the crossbow because, like, like I was saying that like Himiko wouldn't have known how to put it together unless she did it with magic. It's magic. 
I think that's true. Yep, yep. That's true too. I also love how she's like, Kokichi's in my head, and he's just agreeing with everything. Yeah, there we go. Agree. <laughs> I consent. I don't think Himiko used the crossbow. More accurately, she couldn't use it. Couldn't use it? Why not? Because she's too tiny. I also think she would have been too, like, again, I think she was too short to see in the window, but they don't really talk about that. Kaito and I learned how to assemble the crossbow from Maki, so we could have done it. But I don't believe someone without the proper training could have assembled it. Maybe you did, Shuichi. And then the Shuichi's like, what? No, I'm the player character. Well, Thinks back to chapter one. Oh, shit. How to assemble the crossbow. Now, why wouldn't... Why wouldn't Maki... Why wouldn't Maki just do it herself in that case? Like, why would Maki? Why would Maki send Himiko to kill? Are you but, yeah, why? About why would she send? Why would she send Maki uh, Himiko to kill Kaito at all? <laughs> okay, so we the implication I just thought I talked over. The implication here is that Maki did send Himiko with the crossbow, but I don't know if Maki taught her how to make it. Because again, why would she? Why would she use it to kill Kaito? She'd, she'd want him to kill. She'd want her to kill uh, Kokichi. Fine. Or Kokichi wasn't in the bathroom. I didn't teach Himiko how to assemble the crossbow. She couldn't have used it. See, I told you. It's just like I said. Everyone who suspected me needs to apologize right now. She changed back so fast. I think I might have whiplash now. It is funny that like by the end of like the game, these games, so many people are dead that like everybody is just like flanked by like dead portraits. <laughs> like no one's standing next to each other anymore. Perhaps the person who asked was the person who asked him to go to bring the crossbow. Well, it wasn't. It was it. It would have been Kaito. Like, yeah, obviously, because Kaito is the only one, only other person who could have used it, so he would have asked for it. Kaito. Only Kaito or Kokichi would have asked for a crossbow to be brought to the hangar. Because Kaito knows how to assemble the crossbow, he certainly could have used it. Knowing that, I can't imagine that anyone else would have asked Himiko. I do not think she would bring it at Kokichi's request. Of course not. Why would I ever listen to Kokichi? Because I know you like me. <laughs> nah, -uh. I hate you. But I like you. <laughs> what is this feeling? Hey, don't play with Himiko's heart. <laughs> She's mourning her dead wife. Don't do this to her. Maybe Kaito's trying to keep the promise we made yesterday. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll do something about this. I'll kill Kokichi. <laughs> and then that will solve everything. Samuki is like having her own little like event with Himiko. Her and Himiko are just like somewhere else during this trial. I was so nervous about fighting Kokichi, I couldn't get to sleep. I took a walk near the hangar, and that's when Kaito called out to me. I got startled and wet myself a little. Didn't have to tell us that part. <laughs> yeah, Sam even Samugi's like, yeah, you didn't didn't have to know that part. Himiko's working on opening up. Sometimes now she has to learn. Now she has to learn about how to, you know, keep some of that in. That's when I witnessed Himiko. 
But then, what did Kaito do after he had the crossbow? I don't know. I just handed him the crossbow, then went right back to the dorm. Presumably, Kaito tried to attack Kokichi, only to be disarmed of the crossbow. And then, Kokichi returned fire and shot Kaito. That sequence of events seems logical. No, it happened a little differently. Both Kaito and Kokichi shot the crossbow. Well, both of them had... Yeah, both of them had um, crossbow, like, holes. What evidence shows that Kaito shot Kokichi with the crossbow? Would have been his clothes, right? Small holes. Yeah, clothes. This is it. I got it! Remember that when we found Kokichi's clothes, there were holes in the back and sleeve. The same kind of hole that was found in Kaito's coat. Kokichi was shot by the crossbow too? And it was Kaito who shot him, right? Mm, I'm not sure. I don't remember anything like that. You don't remember whether or not you were shot? I mean, you guys are still assuming that, like, Kokichi is actually the person in that exosol, and it's not either, like, another monocub or Kaito or, like, just nobody. It doesn't matter what happened in between. In the end, Kokichi killed Kaito. Maki's been acting strangely. Well, why? Does she know something? If so, what does she know? <laughs> Picture of Maki. Does she know? <laughs> Does she know? In the end, there's no mistake that Kokichi killed Kaito. Then let's hurry up and vote. No, it's too soon. There are still mysteries. Who cares about that? We already know who the culprit is. You sure about that? Huh? What? Now he's joining in? As the one running this trial, it bothers me when anyone says mysteries don't matter. It affects the overall entertainment value, so I encourage you to really <laughs> bumping think Maki about down things. list of favorite characters. Are you though? After all, there Are be you some though? Mysteries that still matter. Example, okay, you're allowed. Kokichi What's your list at this point? I know Kokichi's at the top, Kokichi, Shuichi, and Kaede, but like, who else is like up there in your top five? What are you saying? We already finished that discussion a while ago. Kokichi's gotta still be alive. Also harped on Shuichi for pursuing the truth. I mean, she's very clearly also, like, in emotional turmoil right now. And, like, doesn't know how to deal with it. Didn't we? Like, the one person, one of the only people who, like... After all, this Exosol has a voice changer. Yeah, cool. <laughs> what? Because of that, nobody realizes I'm pretending to be Kokichi. But no more. Sorry for the wait, guys. The luminary of the stars <laughs> he jumped over to his spot. <laughs> Shuichi's just like, Ugh. What? What's going on? Anyway. I told you, I'm Kaito. I was just pretending to be Kokichi is all. Anyway, what I was saying was that, like, Maki is being a real jerk right now, but at the same time, like, one of the only two people that have actually ever actually made her, like, come out of her shell and sort of, like, open herself up and overall just be a friend to her just, like, died as far as she knows. We think that maybe he died, so, like, she's clearly not in a great headspace. How many times are you going to be tricked by him? It'd be funny if there was just both of them in there. If it just turned out the whole time again that, like, if it ended up being that nobody died and both of them just in there and they're just fighting over the microphone. Don't ever call me that. Whoa there, chill. You really think I'm Kokichi? I mean, I guess I understand. Sorry, I can't really get out of this thing right now. Why not? I can't move because of the injury I got from Kokichi. It's so bad I can't even stand. That's why I'm in this exosol. 
<laughs> I'm just bleeding out in here. <laughs> Maybe that's what I want to believe. Is it really true? What story does the evidence tell? Does the story end with Kaito and Kokichi being the victim? We need to give a well-reasoned answer to that, and soon. Can't look away from the truth. The victim of this case is... Sorry, I'm watching this hourglass on the, on the on the left, and I just think it's funny that it actually runs out. I'm trying, I really am, but I can't think of anyone other than Kaito. I I like it in this game when like it's an answer they don't want to say, so they don't have a voice clip. Like Shuichi doesn't want to believe that Kaito might be dead, so he doesn't he doesn't say it. Like he says it, he says it, but he doesn't say it. Is already dead. Will never die. Wait, is the is the still gonna come up for the debate scrum as well? Debate scrum, debate scrum, debate scrum. Woo! These are great. These are my favorite. These are my favorite parts of the debates of the trials. Like they should. They they need to bring. If they make more of these games, they need to bring bring this back like every single time because it's the best it's the best thing they added by far. Is the Exosol not coming up? <laughs> I guess it can't. I guess it can't. I suspect that Kaito is inside the Exosol. I got this. Unless he comes out of the Exosol. We can't confirm that. I don't think that was it. Anyone who knows about Kaito's injury can make that claim. No, that's the wrong one. Is it possible that Kokichi got crushed instead of Kaito? Did you watch the footage? Kaito was the one who got crushed. But there was an arrow hole on Kokichi's. I got this. Kaito's you had the perk to the first one. Well, I, th I didn't see the I didn't see the thing. Like I I thought if it was shown the first one, it would have been like it would have been lit up. Oh, it shows it on their side. I see. I thought like cause the, I I had that perk and I was looking for it like it was gonna be like it would be in like orange. Oh hey, I got it. Damn it! I was in the wrong button. Come on, do it again. Oh okay, jeez. I thought I thought I was like beefing that, and I was like getting it right the whole time. <laughs> that was a pretty short one. Also, want to believe it? In a way, I still can't. But the evidence, the evidence shows that. Although I will say, injured and injury are not the same word. So that one was a little confusing. So much, but it's the truth. See, if that's the conclusion you've arrived at, Shuichi, then there must be no mistake. Then the one here is. <laughs> Looks like I messed around too much. Oh, I'm gonna go back over here now. Sorry. That was just I mean, if he's a voice, if he's a voice changer, he could technically stand on anybody's podium and be anybody. It'd be funny if he just started like talking as like Karumi all of a sudden. Still need to stay calm, be rational, because we need to get to the truth of Kaito's death. <laughs> yeah, just keep calm and carry on. You okay there, Monokuma? Why are you saying that? What part of that was calm? Getting back on topic, why don't we examine the crossbow a little more closely? I think we need to get all the facts straight so we don't fall for any more lies. I agree, but. 
besides my RPGs coming to Switch. I've never played it. I kind of just want to play the original. Like, I like that, like, people are having the option to play, like, a shiny new one. But, like, I think the original's on the, like, S Switch, like, Super Nintendo library, isn't it? So, like, I kind of just want to go play that one. <laughs> But I'm glad the people who are I'm glad the people are getting a chance to play a shiny new one as well. Alrighty then. Let the debate begin. When the crossbow fired, what was even going on? If you need to ask, you are there! Crossbow was in Kaito's possession first. He probably fired the first shot at Kokichi too. Then Kokichi disarmed Kaito, took the crossbow, and returned fire. I mean, we know that like didn't take the crossbow from Kaito. we know that Kaito is Kokichi. What a different one! But only one crossbow was taken. <laughs> the other two are still in my research lab. Crap! She testified. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, no, that's not true. Ah, okay. I thought I missed again, but, like, <laughs> that was funny because, like, my um, focus meter ran out and it, just in time for, like, the thing to move. What? But there were three. in the bathroom, remember? The bit. I know I only The arrows one. reproduced very quickly. He even told me to only bring him one. He said he wanted to avoid fighting. Three arrows of the scene, he cuz she only brought one. What's going on here? Maybe Kokichi had them hidden away? Oh, baby. Oh. Excuse me for yawning. To fire them. But we know for certain that three arrows were recovered from the scene. And all three arrows had blood on them. And altogether, their clothes had three perforations in them. So we know for certain that they shot three arrows at each other. They had really good accuracy. They were able to hit <laughs> with all three arrows. <laughs> Unless it's a case of like fired and then they put it back in. They <laughs> I fired and I missed. I missed the bastard both times. <laughs> I need to think. All right, nah. <laughs> Maki, Maki, Maki texts Shuichi. He's like, "I'm coming. I'm coming over. You better not be psychically driving a, a taxi to solve murders again when I get there." <laughs> okay, I just missed like all of those. This is such a silly thing. Like, it's no. It, okay, no, it is sillier. I was like, "Oh, it's no sillier than the one in the last one where like." Hajime would uh, snowboard down, snowboard down a, a, a psychic slalom. But like, yeah, no, it is. It's it's sillier than that. <laughs> it's silly, but I love it. <laughs> How many arrows did Himiko give Kaito? Well, she said she only gave him one. My only problem with the taxi is that it feels like it goes on a little bit too long. I think I took. No, I didn't. I was like, I thought I, I thought I took the upgrade that like let me um. That let me uh. Good. That let me like uh do whatever, whatever it is like where I get more, but I did not. I should maybe take that next time because these, these segments go too long. <laughs> like they're fun, but they go too long. Who's that on the board? Is that Kokichi? That's Kokichi. That's him sitting on the uh, the hammers. Oh, I missed all those. Oh my god, what am I doing? I was too busy looking at the, the billboards. I can't believe this. My MLG gamer score will never re will never recover. Oh, I missed the Monokuma too. God, I am just scuffing it today, guys. Is there a speedrun for Crazy Taxi? Can you speedrun Crazy Taxi? Crazy Taxi is like 
an arcade style game. I don't think there's like a win state for it. You just kind of go until you lose, right? Were all the arrows inside the hangar from the start? No. Not all of them, because Himiko gave him one. Like, logically speaking, no. Good. You ran over that woman and brought her into your car. Good. Next question. It's probably some kind of restriction to speed run arbitrary wind condition. Probably. I mean, you can speed run anything, really. There was someone who came. There was someone who came into the the stream one time and said they were looking for Danganronpa three speed runs, which is how they found the, found me streaming it. And I'm curious of how you're supposed to street speed run a visual novel other than just like skipping all the dialogue. Like I don't know. Is that like? I guess I just don't like. It'd be like. I mean, like, wouldn't you literally just like? Wouldn't that be all there is to it? It's just like paying all the right dialogue and then just like skipping all the dialogue. Like, I guess that counts. Oh my God, I'm missing these. This thing, oh my God, I'm missing so many. Oh my God, I gotta slow down. I gotta like, cause I'm just going by them. I gotta like actually slow down. Good menuing movement. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm sure there's a way. I guess I'm just wondering, would it be fun to watch? I don't think I personally would enjoy it, but I think a lot of people, I think there are people who would, obviously. Who brought the two arrows? Uh, a third party? Yep, okay. The most recent ones I've heard of is Baldur's Gate 3 and he's six sex speed. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, that record is getting smaller every day, apparently. Like I, I think like I don't know what the what like I was I was I was watching that I think it's like three minutes or something or now. You gotta become friends with Lizelle really fast because then she'll be like, all right, let's do it. I wonder if Games Done Quick will accept that into their roster. If a third party did exist, why would they bring two arrows? Kaido was the only one with a crossbow. I made sure I handed it to him. Kaito said he only needed one arrow. Clearly, he didn't want to fight. Mm. Yeah, that's right. He just was going to shoot. He was going to do it one and done. So the other two arrows weren't for Kaito. They were for the third party to use themselves. So the third party didn't hand the arrows through the window. Instead, they went into the hangar and shot the crossbow themselves? Impossible. There was an alarm system and an alarm well, hold on. The Maki. Yeah. Okay, so Maki had a grenade, right? Off, right? She had the. Uh, oh, hey, Al. <laughs> and a gasless car. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Love you, Al. Thanks for popping in. What method third party used to enter the hangar? Uh, oh, I see the X. It's an X is Exasol. Oh, I, I, that was an accident. That's the only way. There's only so many words that are going to start with X in this game. Can I get an A? Mm. Well, that was like the fastest hangman's gambit we've ever gotten. The exosaw. The exosaw could be used to enter the hangar. I mean, there were exosols outside of the hangar. Twitch mobile app is funky. I've never even. I don't think I've ever. I've never really used like other than YouTube. I've never used a streaming app on a phone. Like, I think I have HBO Max on mine, but like, cause I was going to watch some like at work during slow periods. And then I realized, oh, I can just put it on one of my monitors. <laughs> Except I can't because uh, something about the bandwidth wouldn't let me. 
there's a person inside an access hole? Well, I wasn't trying to keep this secret, but since it's about the details of the hangar, <sighs> I guess I can tell you guys. It makes sense that the alarm system and electric barrier wouldn't react to an exosol. After all, the hangar is where the exosols are supposed to be stored. It'd be a hassle to disable the security every time an exosol comes and goes, you know? So even if someone is inside an exosol, the security system wouldn't catch them. Because it'd be a hassle to leave the exosol every time you have to put it away. So it's like Shuichi said, a third party got in an exosol and entered the hangar? But can just anyone pilot an exosol? Well, Kokichi, it's surprisingly <laughs> easy. If you use both hands, both feet, and both nipples, you can do it. <laughs> We're not going to focus on that while well, Himiko is. <laughs> anyway, this is the like, all right, listen, we're going to talk about the nipple thing later. Wouldn't it be funny if that was a key piece of evidence, though? <laughs> it could have been Steve. He doesn't have nipples. Uh -huh, no nip, Steve. There's no way you can get through security if you pilot an exosol. It's not possible. What? Not possible? They don't like this trial, or they don't like this game. Why are you trying to hide it? Why? Why don't won't you tell me? If someone was piloting the Exosol, they could have used it to enter the hangar. That's not possible. Is operating the Exosol really that difficult? Nope, you just gotta use your nipples. <laughs> Outside the hangar, there were four Exosols. Exosol, Exosol, Exosol. And they were all moving too. I was controlling them remotely. The Electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were still recharging. Well, not all of them. There was one of them. There was one of them we found. So getting inside one would have been impossible. Okay, so that's what we want to press right, on then. It's impossible. If someone is piloting the exit. The hangar, there were four exosols. And they were all moving too. I was controlling them remotely. The electro hammers weren't an option. Yesterday, all the hammers were That's wrong! I haven't gotten a V counter in a while. Wait, not all of the electro hammers. Does this mean I might not be able to use one if I got top surgery? I mean, if you got top surgery or removed your nipples, then yeah. I know because I found one. If you chose to go to the option without nips, then yeah, you'd be you'd be boned. That electro hammer used by the third party? Maybe they used it to disable an exosol. Yes, I think so. But if you disable if you disable an exosol, would you still be able to use it, or is it just a temporary thing? But this morning. Was the missing exosol taken by this third party? <laughs> Shuichi is getting warmer. How about you say the answer right now? Who did it? Who is this third party? The electric hammer gave us a few. I'm guessing, like, the only person I can think of that, like, would fit into this at this point is Maki, right? DJ has lots of loves and has cosplay Kokichi. Oh, that's that's cool. I love that. It was me. I did it. Haha. <laughs> it wasn't Kaito. It was Kurumi. She came back from the dead. It was Ryoma. I mean, I'm guessing it's supposed to be Maki. I do think it's funny that you can like accuse de dead people. <laughs> well, sometimes it comes into play if like they kill they kill themselves. It's you. 
Maki. So did Maki kill somebody? Aren't you? What? It's Maki? What are you saying? Remember what Kokichi said. Okay, it'll run out of juice. But I could use it again, I guess. That hammer was used last afternoon, so it couldn't have been used this morning. Oh, right. When we were all gathered in the dining hall this morning. Oh, right. Yeah, that's right. She was like, she was like, I don't need it. I just have a knife. And then she used, <laughs> she tried to Mom cut up a robot with it, maybe. That's not a knife. This is a knife. That's a hammer. All right. You've played hammer spoon before. That leads me to the conclusion that Maki must be the third party. She also knows how to assemble the crossbow and could have returned it to her lab later. You brought a different crossbow than the one Kaito had, right? Maki took two arrows and her own crossbow from her lab, disabled the exosaw with an electro hammer, and... Now we just have to figure out what happened after <laughs> All right, we're going to have a sword fight with Maki again. Again, Maki who does not like using swords. Are you doing Two sword this? fights. Why are you getting in my way? Getting in your way. Maki, what are you Yes. I'm the third party. Huh? I admit to going into the hangar with an exosaw and then shooting the crossbow. I didn't kill anyone. I'm not the culprit. So if Kaito only had one... So Kaito only got shot once and Kokichi got shot twice, right? So does that mean Maki shot Kaito? Shot Ko I don't know. Ah, shit, I missed it. Her sword fights are hard. However, I'm not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. Electro Hammer. Ah, shit's too. This is hard. Like, hers are hard. Oh my god, the angles. Ah my god, that one's so, that one. However, not the culprit. Because the crossbow is not the murder weapon. The crossbow is not the Yeah, I feel weapon. what you mean about the, the speed run. Mean? Things like this. The arrows left holes in the clothes. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. That's why the crossbow can't be the murder weapon. Therefore, I'm not the culprit. Arrows left holes in it. Hold on. Three arrows. That's not useful. Close. Think about the locations of the wounds. They were on his arm and back. An arrow to each of those spots wouldn't result in a fatal injury. I'll cut through your words! It wouldn't matter where the arrow hit if it were poisoned. Oh, okay. I was I was trying to figure out what exactly like I noticed something. I was I, I wasn't sure like I like I was thinking like the poison was the only one that could fit with me, but I was like, did she force someone to drink the poison? But no, she dipped it in there. If that poison had been applied to those arrows. Very clever, Maki. It would have been lethal, no matter where they connected. Maki, do you have a rebuttal? What's the matter? Why don't you say anything? Don't tell me. Are you really the culprit? Th there's no way she is. Because why would she kill Kaito? <laughs> I can't understand if you don't explain anything. Maki is still. Fine. I mean, yeah, I'm with Himiko on this one. Y'all gotta learn to just talk about your feelings, be true. 
If you killed someone, just admit it. Or else everyone's gonna die. Maki is trying to kill Kokichi in this class trial. She wants to kill the mastermind, a remnant of despair. Yeah, but if he's not the killer, then everyone's gonna die. The sacrifice that Maki's talking about. No, she's talking about everybody. She's trying to kill everyone. Oh my god, Maki. She really has just like com completely gone down the despair hole. Yeah, but that's... Wait. Wait. Hold on. So, wait. No, 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 no. Hold on. I know they're going to explain this in a second, but I'm trying to work out my thought process here. Maki wants to... Maki wants to get people to choose Kokichi as the blackened, even though he... She thinks he didn't do it? Is that what we're trying to say? Because that won't work. If you accuse... If it turns out he's the wrong... Right, but if he's the wrong person, that's not going to kill Kokichi. Like, like, like... If it's the wrong person, okay, no, but like, so like, sorry. So she's trying to get like, so she's trying to live. Okay, I think I'm working it through now. She's trying to like, she's she's saying that she killed Koki, uh, Kaito. And so she's trying to get them to choose Kokichi so that by choosing the wrong person, Kokichi and everyone except Maki will die. That's what she's doing to kill. Why didn't she just kill Kokichi? I guess I guess the idea is that she attempted to kill Kokichi and failed. So now she's trying to like make up for that. I think I guess that I guess that's what's happening. Okay. Just to kill Kokichi. I had to stop for a second. <laughs> Although I'm, <laughs> they're also probably going to explain it because it's a fucking visual novel and they overexplain everything. She knew what happened and tried I just wanted to work through it on my on my own first. But that mischievous plan was ruined, all thanks to Shuichi here. I guess I, guess I could have just listened. <laughs> I could have just let it play out. You knew all along that Maki was the culprit. That's why you've been so calm. This isn't over. Hmm? Maybe we do have the truth now. But this isn't over. We have a choice to make. We don't have to follow where the evidence leads. Huh? <laughs> we don't have to listen to the truth, actually, I say as the detective. You're going to vote for someone else, even if it's not the truth? Someone else? You mean vote incorrectly on purpose? What did you say? Kaito told me that only I would be able to grasp what lies beyond the truth. That means finding the truth is not enough. We need to grasp the hope just beyond it. So, Maki, please tell us the truth. The truth that only you know. So Kaito said that to you. Then, does that mean you guys made up before he died? Yeah, when I went to see him yesterday. I see. Okay, I'll talk about it. Especially since it's my responsibility for involving everyone. Shuichi, you're so persistent. Are you always like that? Uh, you think so? Maybe Kaito's charisma is starting to rub off on me. That guy could be pretty stubborn. Then what really happened? Maki, please tell us. Please. And so, Maki began telling the truth. A truth that would leave us all in shock. Don't just start narrating. <laughs> you're ruining the mood. Himiko again, the, me so, the meta one. I guess this turn of events isn't exactly boring either. Intermission! Mm. Okay, uh, I'm going to get up, get some water, go to the bathroom, etc. I will I'll be right back.
And we're back. Oh, it's a hello ad. Thanks for dropping in. Having the feminine urge to buy Armored Core 6. It looks pretty good. I actually, um, I had a gift card from work for the, for the, for the Bezos money. So I went ahead and grabbed it and a few other things. But I'm sitting here being like, oh man, yeah, I want to play Armored Core 6. I've, I've never played Armored Core before. I really wanted to play it. The fact that like, I still haven't finished Baldur Gate 3. I still haven't finished this. I still haven't finished Final Fantasy 16. So I was just like, <laughs> I'm going to get it and I'm just going to put it on a shelf for a while. <laughs> like, whatever. It looks fun, though. It looks really cool. Well, now. Mm. No more monocubs. Oh my god, what was that noise? Jesus. Flashback light became the motive. When Kokichi remembered that he was a remnant of despair, I planned to kill him. I thought that if I killed him, this game and the battle between hope and despair would end. I was confident in my talent as an assassin. I knew I would be able to So this is the second time that someone was like, It's alright, guys, if I just kill the mastermind, it'll be okay. Kokichi's not the mastermind, though. I don't believe that. There's no fucking way they would reveal, like, he was the mastermind in Chapter 5. <laughs> That's Chapter 6 material. That being said, I am curious who the actual mastermind is, because... It's either going to be a Danganronpa the one situation where it turns out it was someone amongst us the whole time, although in kind of a weird way. Or it'll be a Danganronpa 2 situation where it's none of us. It's, 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 uh, what's, what's her face instead? Both of them stopped and looked at the Exosoft, most likely surprised by its sudden appearance. Kokichi immediately took out his remote and attempted to control the Exosol I was in. I, my next question was going to be, why didn't she just, like, crush him with the Exosol? out of the Exosol before he could and shot Kokichi in the back with an arrow. That should have been enough to stop him, since the arrow was coated with poison. The Strike 9 poison, correct? But why pick that particular poison? Some of the poisons in my lab were far more lethal. Shuichi, you need to get a padlock for your lab, dude. <laughs> Again, this is the second case in a row <laughs> that people have gotten poisoned from your lab. Lock that shit up. If he was the mastermind, it would have been easier for him to hide in the shadows, right? He could have made it seem as if the late Junko was secretly behind this killing game. Yeah, that's never happened. Ever. He could reveal himself mm -hmm. as a surprise mastermind to liven up the game. Because of his suspicious actions, anyone would already suspect him as the mastermind. Especially with that message in the courtyard. Is Angie screaming at us from hell? <laughs> said it was a hint. <laughs> Atua told you to lock your doors. Out of his way just for a hint? As a remnant of despair, I imagine he wanted to feel the despair of his plan being thwarted. I think that if he wanted the thrill, he would have carried out the plan carefully. So when his carefully laid out plan goes to waste, he would be in utter despair. Yeah, that's a good point. Maki must have wanted to hear it directly from Kokichi himself. But it was pointless. I was a fool for thinking I could have a serious talk with him. What are you talking about? Right? The spare? What's that? I mean, it was voice lines. He wasn't going off immediately. Anything you're saying, I guess because he's dying from poison in him. Why are you okay, be safe. Love you, yeah. Killing came when it should have ended. You already know it's all meaningless. And that I'm the mastermind. Do you love killing that much? Shut up, you 
asshole! I realized it was pointless to continue the conversation, so I shot the final arrow, but then... What? Kaito protected Kokichi? Why? Why would Kaito protect Kokichi? Well, that explains how he had the other arrow in him. At that moment, my mind went blank. I knew I had to do something about the poison. I rushed to Shuichi's research lab for the antidote. <laughs> I put my lips onto the wound and sucked it out. I had to go all organ trail on his ass. Strike nine poison to torture Kokichi for info. I plan to kill him from the start. <laughs> That's so mean. But that was my first mistake. Because of that. You I ended up killing Kaito. When I returned with the antidote, the hangar shutter had been closed. I assumed it was Kokichi's doing. But because of that, I couldn't enter the hangar anymore. I needed to give Kaito the antidote somehow, so I went to the bathroom window. Kaito, can you hear me? Quick, drink this antidote! After calling out to him, I chucked the antidote through the bathroom window. Kaito noticed it and grabbed the antidote. But Kokichi stole it from him. Mastermind of this killing game. That's gonna be like you always think it's funny how like there, you find the antidote on like the people who have the poison in video games, and I'm like, well this is probably why, in case it you know gets goes awry and they need to use it. Went to space. Damn it. Stop I feel so much better. I guess that's a wrap. Still got two like arrows sticking out of you. There's now another class trial that's going to start. Class trial? You'll be the blackened for this case, you know. The blackened who killed Kaito. I <laughs> I killed They're just kind of annoying arrows. You know. Whatever. It's not like, you know, a several like half foot long like piece of like wood sticking into your body. wasn't protecting me. He was protecting Maki. The situation just got way worse. Huh. Maki is going to become the black and responsible for killing you. All because you protected me. Don't you worry, Maki. I'm not going to die that easy. <laughs> I'm already just, you know, just I already out. have an, uh, an illness that's killing me, but now I have poison in my going through me. <laughs> I'm not gonna die. Even like that. You really are not boring. What? <laughs> I want to see what a dying Kaito can do. So show me what you've got. I won't meddle with your plans. What are you? Don't mind me. Run, Maki Roll. Just hurry up and run. Run and live. You gotta live. But I refused to give up. I tried to enter the hangar by breaking the control panel with my knife. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. So she really did like cut up the whole the whole panel. I couldn't. So that's where the marks on your control panel came from, huh? After that. I returned to the bathroom window once more, but I didn't see anyone. The bathroom door was closed. I called out, but neither Kaito nor Kokichi answered. I couldn't do anything anymore. All I could do was leave. That's when I made up my mind. As the blackened who killed Kaito, I would kill Kokichi during this class trial in exchange for all of your lives. Mm, kind of a dick move. So that's what happened. Then Kokichi, knowing what he knew, 
still helps Maki cover up her crime? And is that why you smushed Kaito in the hydraulic press? Kaito wanted Maki to be spotless. As his friend, I felt obliged to help him. How dare you make fun of him! You call yourself a friend? You enjoyed watching us suffer! You fucking asshole! Ooh, Maki is so scary. Good thing I'm in this exosol. Pretty sure Maki would have already killed me if I was out there in the flesh. So, what are everyone's plans now? With the truth out in the open, who are you guys gonna vote for? You can vote for me, but if you do, we'll all die together. Or vote for Maki and live. Well, choose whichever you want. I don't care either way. Why? Why are you so calm? Your life depends on this too. Who cares? Just choose already. Come on, who are you gonna vote for? No, we can't vote yet. I mean, yeah, we still have like a whole trial to we go. We have the whole truth. I mean, like, okay. This case isn't over. <sighs> so, okay. So here's my theory now. Um, Syntha just spilled all that. Obviously, it's not going to be Maki who's the black end. Obviously. So my guess has now become uh, Kaito. Kaito is in the Exosol right now. Kokichi is the one that that actually died. I think they smushed that. He's the one they smushed his body. Like. I'm guessing, like, they, they like, as Kokichi was all like, let's see what you're going to do. Like, I want to see what you're going to do. So Kaito, I think, I think, I think that's what's going on. I think, I think Kaito and, and Kaito is trying to protect Maki. That's the only, that's the only like, motive I can think of for him doing that at that point. He's trying, he's trying to take the heat off Maki. That's why he's trying to get people to vote for Kokichi, a.k.a. him. That's what I think is happening. Thank you for telling us. In which case, Kaito, if it is Kaito, I was like, wow, his acting chops are pretty good. There's another hidden truth within your testimony. A hidden truth? Yes, I'm positive. Because there's something wrong with a testimony you've given us. <laughs> I mean, there is something wrong with that, but I don't think that's it. Maki becoming the black end. I mean, like, if she killed him, could he drink the antidote? Uh, the control panel was cut up, though. That's it. Okay. Maki said she used a knife to try to break the control panel and enter the hangar, but that doesn't make sense because there's a um, system on the shut. Okay, yeah. So she would have been, yeah, would have been just caught right there. The alarm should have gone off if someone got close to the shutter. I was too focused to notice at the time, but now that you mention it, it is odd. Maybe the sensor just missed her. Nah, the security there isn't that sloppy. If a shady person got near the shutter, the alarm would have gone off without question. And why didn't the alarm go off? Like I told I mean, it would have had to been disabled, right? So like maybe somebody hit with an electro bomb. Maybe inside it was turned off. I haven't had to do any lying this one. I wonder if I missed it, because I know the lies are usually optional. It'd have to be the it has to be the electro bomb, right? If you would approach the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100 certainty. Maybe it was just broken. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting. Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Imagine being Kibo in this case. He's just removed. Yeah, it's gonna be really confusing. I'm not going to tell any more lies. Seems like the alarm system itself is working properly. What can we learn from that? I did attempt to enter the hangar, and I tried to destroy the control. You can be a disable disable with the alarm remote. The control panel for the electric panel is buried in shutter. There's marks on it. Was struck by something sharp. Control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you would approach the shutter. The alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. The electro bomb used it scatters particles that interfere with the electromagnets. It lasts for about two hours, covers an area about 50 yards. Each one can only be used once. 
Well, Mikey had one. Right? He was just broken. Perhaps it was turned to a special setting? Or maybe Maki is telling a lie. Did you really try to break the control panel with him? I don't like that tone. I did attempt to enter the hangar. And I tried to destroy the control panel with my knife. At the time, the alarm system didn't go off. But if you had approached the shutter, the alarm would have activated with 100% certainty. I think I I, I, I want to try that again because I got blocked by the, the by the letters. They would have called me out if it was wrong. I did attempt to enter. Didn't go off. But if you would have pushed the shutter, the alarm would have The. Okay. There's a way to disable the alarm <laughs> system. An electro bomb would take it. Okay. Congrats, new game. Maki only had one bomb, and she used it during the raid this morning. Then the only other person who could have used one is Kokichi, right? Huh? Why would I use an electro bomb? I have no reason to shut up the alarm, right? I'd be at You'll have to post pictures of your robot. <laughs> In that case, then. I've got it. Disabling the alarm system wasn't the real objective. What? The main objective of Kichi using Electro Bomb. Keep Kibo away. <laughs> He's really didn't like Kibo. I'm gonna say that one because I want to see what he says. That was because a robot had electric reaction. I don't think I knew that wasn't it, but I wanted to see what he would say. I, I'm going to say it's the press. Because it. it's like, we keep talking about it, like how like the, the, the press shouldn't press. work, right? The Can't wait till the real culprit of this Eric case was Erica Harlatcher Stone the whole time. It could be her. It was always the chance it was her. It also would have disabled the hydraulic press's safety function. No matter what. It all comes back. Harlotter Stone shakes fist. There's only one reason that anyone would want to do that. I'm right. It means that we've been thinking about this all along. <laughs> so what you're saying is there is a chance. Wrong. Everyone's staring at me. They think I'm a fraud. What piece of evidence is called into question if the safety function was off? That's it. Yeah, it was the cause of death. Kaito's cause of death. What? If the electro bomb was used while Maki was trying to deliver the antidote, maybe Kaito didn't die by poison. It could be something else entirely. <laughs> He died from his incurable illness. Other than the poison arrow, was the only potential cause of death? Well, no, because if they disabled the, um, it'd be the hydraulic press, right? Because if they disabled the thingamajig, if they disabled the safety function, it. then they could actually put him in the pr in the in the smusher. The hydraulic press. Kaito could have been killed by the press after all. What? He could have. If the safety was off, the press could have crushed Kaito while he was still alive. Right after I threw the antidote, I tried to open the shutter. So, Kaito should have still been alive. And if he was crushed by the hydraulic press after that, then we have our cause of death. Right in the smusher. And if that's the case, it'd mean the one who killed Kaito wasn't Maki. It would be whoever was operating the hydraulic press. Kokichi. But why would Kokichi do that is the question. Like, there's uh, Kokichi wouldn't just... 
I don't know. Well, unless he wanted to get everybody killed, but I don't think he wants to do, ever do that. But that's just a possibility. What do you mean? It's possible that I killed Kaito with the press, but there's no way to know. Kaito's death could have been either the poison arrow or the hydraulic press. Both causes are possible, but you'll never be able to determine it, no matter what. No matter what? That's not true. We can probably solve this mystery too. Hold on, I need to stand, sit up a little bit here. Right, Suiji. <sighs> Cause with air hydro is it possible to tell? I mean, his body is like gone, so no, it's not possible. Just sad, sad, sad answer. Yeah. No way to prove the cause of death. Like this, if you cry every time. I do cry. You can't check the body, and you don't have any conclusive evidence. You can't deduce any more from here on out. There's no way to know what happened. <sighs> so that's what you were trying to do. Oh my god. You were trying to commit an unsolvable murder. I mean, that's kind of like That's kind of the aim that everybody tries to like do every single time, you know? I'm trying to make a really hard to solve murder. Unknown victim, but rather the unknowable culprit. No one understands but me. Only I know the answer. There's no more room for deduction here. Choose the culprit with your own intuition. <laughs> D just guess. <laughs> Are you troubled? I'm sure robots don't have intuition, right? But there's nothing you can do about it. This is just how the trial goes. So, who is the culprit? The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off. It's voting time! Wait, they want me to vote? <laughs> vote with my heart? Uh, do I think it's Kokichi? Do I think it's Maki? I wonder if it matters who I vote for. Himiko? <laughs> I'll vote for Kaido. Because I. It's Kuriku. Hey, that's my line! Oh, it doesn't. the one who decides when it's voting time! Oh, come on. No one's gonna figure out the truth. Let's just vote already. This won't be a problem, right, Monokuma? <laughs> Kuriku. Uh, Kuriku is the only one, I think, who's just deader than dead and could not possibly do it. I mean, that guy died and then he got his spirit exercised. Like, he's just gone. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, you know who the culprit is. Uh, uh, yes, uh, of course I know. I mean, he's supposed to. He's supposed to have cameras literally everywhere. But then again, if the electro bomb went off and knocked out the cameras, then they wouldn't be able to see. <laughs> what are you talking about? So as Monokuma doesn't know, he's just gonna wait, try, hope they just kind of figured it out for him. Monokuma, do you not know who the culprit is either? <laughs> what if we just left then? It's like, oh, okay, this is a mistrial then. What does this mean? Why doesn't Monokuma know who the culprit is? Monokuma doesn't know who the culprit is either. Monokuma doesn't know. What does it tell us about the case? Wait, this yes, case? That's it. So that's what Kokichi's real objective was. Huh? What are you talking about? Kokichi wasn't just trying to commit a murder that we couldn't figure out. He was trying to commit a murder that Monokuma couldn't figure out either. Oh, that's interesting. That's an interesting development. What's the point of that? The I don't think anybody. Well, no, Kokichi's not the mastermind. I don't believe that. So that's an interesting take. I don't think anyone's ever tried to do something like that before. There's been a lot of cases of trying to unearth the mastermind. Kokichi wants to end the killing game. Yeah. Perhaps there are hidden cameras strategically placed to avoid our detection. I can't say for certain. I mean, there literally are hidden cameras placed everywhere to like, so that you can, that you can watch you. 
device, the electro bomb would prevent any cameras from sending video wirelessly. Which means it wouldn't matter where the surveillance cameras were hidden. Like I said, what's the point? Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma. Before we determine that, because he's not. Ooh. Clear that the objective were to create a crime that would stump Monokuma. The Exosols. Yes. The Exosols weren't protecting Monokuma. That yes was a weird line. Like that read, the read he just gave on that yes. Like yes. Like that was strange. Yeah, they were watching him, <laughs> admiring him. They were watching Monokuma. Watching him? Yes. Remember what Monokuma said earlier in the investigation? If they were protecting him like bodyguards, they wouldn't have been facing him. They would have been scanning the area, watching us. But they weren't. That implies that they weren't watching us. They were watching him. They were trying to make sure that Monokuma wouldn't go near the crime scene. That reminds me. Before I stole an exosol, all four units were focused on Monokuma. That's why when I stole one to enter the hangar, the other three didn't pursue me. So Monokuma just watched Maki show up and like sucker punch an exosol and jump into it and leave. He <laughs> just watched that happen. She didn't want to share that information because it would have linked her to the murder. In which case, it could only be Maki. You're right. Um, so to summarize this discussion, Kokichi used the electro bomb in the hangar and the exosols to watch Monokuma thereby creating a scenario in which Monokuma has no idea who the culprit is? I told you there's no point! Kokichi's the one who's controlling Monokuma! No, Kokichi might not be controlling Monokuma at all. What? But Kokichi's the mastermind, right? Shouldn't he be controlling- Because he's Kokichi not the mastermind. Not be the mastermind. What? Remember that the only reason we think that is because Kokichi told us. Monokuma hasn't said a word about that. It's possible that Kokichi is just lying to us. <laughs> no way I lied! I'm definitely controlling Monokuma. The mastermind of the killing game is totally me. The one who pitted humanity's last survivors against each other is... Kokichi's lying? Oh, Perish the thought. I mean, like, you know, also thank you for the follow. Necessarily mean that he's the mastermind. The timing, well, the timing was oh, uh, uh, the the audio, the whatever the audio clip. Possible? I didn't get to hear it. I heard the ting. Well, Monokuma, I can't answer that without causing problems because I've got to run this trial fair and square. Even more reason to give us the answer. If you don't tell us the truth right now, you'll be an accomplice to Kokichi's lies. Does that sound like a fair game? Would you say this class trial is fair? Yeah, tell us. Is Kokichi the real mastermind or not? No need to think about it. You're being way too forward, you know. Aren't you normally the forward one? I mean, I don't mind, because that's probably part of your strategy, too. But in the interest of fairness, I suppose it's time to tell the truth. Unlike the lies you love so much, the truth should be impartial to everyone. And what is that truth? <laughs> what is the truth? I'm not being controlled by Kokichi, because he's not the mastermind. What? How could this be? Are you kidding me? What? That's really true. Pretends to be shocked. Kokichi was just messing with you. I never want to. Monokuma looks at the, the camera. Mastermind. Don't you realize this is only chapter five? Kokichi's lie? to learn the truth of the outside world. Based on his deductions, he fabricated a lie to make you all think he was the mastermind. I see. Kokichi's own deductions. His 
these deductions got a lot of details right, though. Pretty impressive, honestly. <laughs> He's learning for the detective. <laughs> Kokichi used basic logic to figure out his his answer. He just used Mew's remote control. So the remote that Kokichi was using was made by Mew? Oh, you didn't know. Mew not only invented the electro bomb and the electro hammer. I mean, I, I guess they did. They never really did say. A remote control that can hijack any I don't remember device. if they actually said that, like anything about like where the remote came from. He just kind of had it. Mew, unexpectedly the true hero of the game, even though she tried to murder Kokichi, who might be the true hero. In his own way. Interesting to defeat an enemy who plays dirty anyway. What's going on? It seems like they're actually fighting. There's no doubt about it. Kokichi isn't the mastermind. Were we just being dragged around by Kokichi's lies the whole time? What were you trying to accomplish by pretending to be the mastermind, Kokichi? <laughs> I don't know. I was just bored. <laughs> I was just having a laugh. Don't you know that this could just all be a natural part of the process of life? Why, it just sort of happened. No I just appeared one day. I wanna know. She's dead. We've never gone to contact with her. <laughs> Junko's dead. Therefore, she could never do something like this. Obviously. Anyway, this Obviously. I don't think it's Junko again. I don't want it to be Junko again. I'm sick of it being Junko again. <laughs> so, like, I'm hoping it's not Junko again. I agree. Before we worry about who the mastermind is or what my intent is, let's figure out the culprit. But Monokuma doesn't know who it is. How is he supposed to confirm the result? We don't need to worry about that. Let's just leave the decision making to Monokuma. But you gotta run the class trial too. So no mistakes, okay? Are you trying to get me to do something? You've been watching us solve all these cases. But you can't be a spectator anymore. You're gonna participate in the class trial. That did happen in the first game, now I think about it. Like Monokuma was like down like in the well so with let's us. Resume this class trial. Monokuma? You gotta use your brain too. This will be the final class trial. Me versus Monokuma. You versus Monokuma? When I play a game, I intend to win. But what's considered winning in this game? Beating the other players? No. Beating the game's mastermind is the true victory. And that's how I'll win. That's why I decided to challenge Monokuma. If I can deceive Monokuma till the very end, then I'll be the winner. You're dragging us around like this? Just so you can win a game? As I suspected, your thought process defies all logic. But since the outside world is in total ruin, this game is the only entertainment we have. At least I can enjoy this game to the fullest and feel good winning. I just realized we've had a long time since we had a non-stop debate or a game or a hangman's gambit or anything there has been a lot of talking let's just get this started if the students or monokuma don't know who the culprit is then i'm the winner don't underestimate me or shuichi and the others for that matter <laughs> it's just like a remnant of despair to try to assume control of the game but these kids are all that's left of Hope's Peak Academy. I don't know if I'm just used to it now, but you remember how, like, when we said at the beginning of the game, it felt like Monokuma had a different voice, even though it's the same voice actor? I no longer feel that. I don't know if it's just kind of all melded together, melted together, but, like, he, he just sounds like he always has to me now. If you think they're going to make this easy for you, you better think again. Like there's some there's some inflections that are still like different from the first game. 
Like he doesn't do that rah kind of voice Monica that often. Joins your party. <laughs> Monokuma ultimate. That's funny. Monokuma has joined you without your consent. Now, let's join forces and unravel the truth behind this case. Well, we were going to do it anyway. Let's just ignore Monokuma. His actions are always beyond comprehension. Yeah! Let's just focus on the case! Hey, be quiet so we can ignore you. Now, where should we start? We've already established what Kokichi is after. He's just gonna keep talking anyway, isn't he? In my experience, whenever you learn a new fact, you learn something else along with it. Yes, let's look for that. You warmed up to him real fast. I guess you are both robots. Don't discriminate against robots, Emiko. Another truth comes out. That piece of it makes more sense now. The evidence I couldn't wrap my head around. Yeah, we still haven't figured out like what's wonky about the murder, about the the murder video, because there's something weird about it. Here we go. We're gonna watch again. Yeah. So notice that it stops there, like how it stops right there, where, where his arm is 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 only thing visible. And we said like his left arm is the one that like goes to the sleeve, right? So. My guess is that they they stopped recording and then recorded swapped swapped people and then started recording again. With the hydraulic press, so the cause of death would be unknown. But if that were the only objective, there would be no need to film it. Discovering the crushed body would have been enough. No need to show us the film. That's true. I guess you're starting to fit in after all. If you get any cuter, I'm gonna hug you. Huh? Really? <laughs> Samugi's like, guys? <laughs> I know this is kind of one of those cases where, like, the boss character joins your party and then he's weaker, but, like, come on. The boss character joins your party and now you can romance him. It's the true fire emblem, boy. Time for Hangman's Gambit. Um... Well, no X's this time, so it's not Exasol. What's the question? My keyboard will work? Why can't I identify? Why can't, why, what can't be identified even watching the dead footage? Um, I think it's victim. Nice. These are definitely easier than they used to be. Like the hangman's, the hangman's gambit, I think in two was the worst one. Like I think that one was the hardest one, I believe. If you show the moment of Kaito's death, of course it would lead us to believe he died. Even if we can't positively identify the body, we would still believe Kaito was the victim. That might be exactly the mistake Kokichi was going for. Does that mean the victims were switched? Yeah, so I think Kaido got in initially and then then he got out and then Kokichi got in and they finished it. Where would he even get another body? So this is coming back around fully to like it's more and more kind of looking like maybe Kaito agreed to this because it would help find the mastermind, but I think it's kind of, I think it's more likely he agreed to it because he didn't want Maki to get, <laughs> but too bad. he didn't want Maki to be a killer again. Impossible. The footage showed the body being crushed. When in the footage would they have been able to switch the victim? When it stopped. It stopped. And we already established that the footage was not doctored in any way. It wasn't doctored, but it's, you know, stop, start, stop, start. Functions. Just play, record, and pause. Monokuma also said that no computer was used to edit the footage. Remember? Damn it! Me and my big mouth! 
Which means switching <laughs> out the victim would video is getting misleading if it's not doctored. It's true. Also, video evidence does not necessarily mean, mean Kaito is it's 100% alive. truth. That being said, cops should always keep their body cams on. So many times. Unrelated. That happening is impossible. It might be possible. Huh? There could be a trick to make the switch possible. We just haven't noticed it yet. Oh, and what trick is that? See, you don't know, do you? I already said it's impossible. Maki's not wrong. There is a way it could be done. So we can't just give up here. Oh, wait, hold on. I just realized I can move the camera. I'll think harder about this as well. So, can you Ooh. confirm whether Ooh. or not the victim's Oh, good. I just realized if you hold down if you hold down right click, you can like move the camera. <laughs> yeah, he's alive. No, you didn't do it, Maki. It's okay. You didn't do it. I don't want that. It's okay. Stop crying. Oh, shit. Okay, then. <laughs> Let's talk about the I never knew you could do that. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like, 35 hours into this game? Yes, please. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, okay. No, okay. Never mind. No, just kidding. Let's all talk it over together. Okay, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I'm going to stop doing that, though, because I think I'm going to give people motion sickness. Sure, we'll figure something out. Geez, you guys are a stubborn bunch. There's no trick. That's probably another lie. However, if the victim. <laughs> Monica, am I just adding in? Yeah, it's probably don't believe that. Altered. How could it have been altered when we know that the footage wasn't edited? If we could figure that out, maybe we'd know how they switch places. I knew there was a trick to that video the whole time. So Peachy made it. So it's 100% suspicious. Hydraulic press the coat. I don't think the shutter. There is no trick. You can check, but there's no editing function in that camera. Did the placement of that camera seem suspicious to any of you? The filming angle seemed unnatural, don't you think? The person in that video. I mean, like. It is weird that, like, he, he got shot there because, like, you know, his arm is through, like, the, it left it. So, but, like, it is weird that it was just out. Is it really Kaito? Something seems off about that video to me. When the hydraulic press... That stops for a bit. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm, like, one... Oh, damn it. I, I want to I wanna press on... Oh, that's so cute. I want to press on what Kibo said, but it moved too fast. I agree. I could sense. <laughs> you got it, Kibo. Good job. Kibo is on to something. Isn't it weird that the I mean, I've been saying that since the beginning of the case, so I'm glad that we're finally getting to like talk about that. <laughs> I've been talking, I've been talking about since the beginning that like it was weird that it just kind of stopped. Oh my god! I forgot how close he came to just squishing him. The hydraulic press kept lowering itself without stopping. Isn't it frustrating when you want to talk about something but the game won't let you? Yeah, but like I understand like why it like takes it to get to that point, but also like it kind of goes to what I was saying earlier about how like like um I wish these games were made it so that you could like have multiple things to press on, like multiple pieces of evidence to press on. Why the press stop? There's only more things you can think of. Mine mine!
I like this one more now that I like kind of understand it. What's the question? Why did the hydraulic press come to a stop? So we got, uh, looks like a control panel. And that looks like an exosol over there. And what is this? That's the, com that's command panel from outside before it got cut up. That wasn't an exosol that stopped it. Clear, I got it. So like, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes Shuichi just has to play Minesweeper in his head <laughs> in order to get it. This is how detective work works. If you don't have some sort of flash game going on in your head, are you really a detective? For me, it's ski free. I gotta keep myself from eaten, getting eaten by the abominable snowman in order to like solve a murder. <laughs> for like a sec. You can't switch the victim in such a short time, can you? That's true. There's also the question of how the bodies got switched while the camera was rolling. I mean, we don't see the back. That would have clearly been caught on camera. They could have like either paused the camera and then restarted it, but that would make it seem like it was like shopped. It wasn't just the book. Yeah, yeah no, the camera stopped. Else. Yeah, the camera Same stopped. Time, see? I see? I, I'm good. I got it. Oh, no, we're doing more mine mine. Jeez, two in a row. Okay. You're just saying it's been a while since you played a game. It's true, and I guess now they're making, throwing a, a lot of them at, at once. Well, I was saying it's been a while since they've played, like, made me play. I'm guessing it's the camera, right? Oh, damn, I fucked this one up. Yeah. The camera, the hammer, or the bomb. I see it. Complete! The da -da -da -da. Ba -ba -ba. Then, while the camera was off, they switched the body under the hydraulic press after the body was swapped. That video, the Spider-Verse video of Miles putting his hand on Gwen's shoulder so and the like target break, is like one of my favorite edits of all time. <laughs> Bring complete. It's so good. Ready, go. Himiko has just kind of been like regulated to like be the meta person who argues with Monokuma. That's just her role in the game now. To get the trick we just described to work, the camera had to be set up precisely. She got her character development already. Yeah, she doesn't need anything else has to happen to her. Well, it has to be set up with the press, right? There. Yeah, it has to be set up like at the control panel. The video camera must have been set up somewhere around here to operate the press and the camera at the same time. It would have to be near the switch. That's why the video was taken from that unnatural angle. If they were recording it like normal, they would have used a better angle. So Kaito, Kaito and Kokichi made a snuff film. And that proves the trick was used. Camera angle, huh? 
Okay, but Kokichi took the antidote, right? So that means that if Kaito, if Kokichi is the one that died, and Kaito is still alive, Kaito is still gonna die of the poison. was stopped. We couldn't really see who was inside it, correct? That was intentional. The body is mostly hidden by the press, making the swap easier. The camera must have been placed at such a high position so it would produce that angle. <laughs> so is the press not electronic? Why didn't it get disabled by the electro the electro bomb? Did they did they mention that? Right? Kokichi used that video angle trick and switched the victim in the hydraulic press. In that case, Kaito is. Before he was crushed by the press, he was swapped with a different body. I believe that's just a straight up plot hole. <laughs> still alive. I mean, yeah. That, <laughs> like, that, like, wouldn't that, like, I, I, I wouldn't what? that. The different body you mentioned. What are you talking about? The bodies from the other cases. Kokichi's the mastermind, so he... Wait, the mastermind? Yeah, Kokichi isn't the mastermind, so... I don't think he'd be able to produce a body to switch out. What? Yeah, no, that would, you would have to be the... In Danganronpa 1 if you were going to do that. Allow for a body to be reused? Very well, I'll answer that. You're giving in pretty easily. Well, it's crucial information to make the trial fair. This discussion is pointless if it's not clear what the culprit was allowed to do, right? <laughs> You're a convenient mastermind, but I guess that makes defeating you worth my time. Now then, regarding the reuse of a dead body, that is impossible. All the dead bodies have already been thrown away. Thrown away? The other bodies are gone? Then who did Kaito switch places with? Would have had to been the only other body in the hangar. The real victim was the other person in the hangar. Kokichi, excuse me, Shuichi doesn't want to say it. What's wrong, Shuichi? Who did Kaito switch places with? Maki. I think I missed something very important here. Something important? Oh, okay, more hangmans. <laughs> okay, we're just throwing all the games in the background here. Uh, uh, in the back burner here. Um No. Not an M. This one's I'm not sure about this one. I see. What about T? I already tried T. How were the bodies swapped if only two people were in the hangar? Did I try C? I, I, I literally just tried C. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I was just bragging about like... I was just bragging about this, about how I was doing so well. What about V? Okay, V. Well, the only thing in these, it would have to be a vowel that comes next, so it would be just I. Okay, so, okay, so victim. Oops, that was not T. The, making the M's up, upside down is confusing because they look like W's. That shouldn't be fair. The victim... Do they reuse letters? They do use re letters sometimes. There's an E. Victim escaped. E-S-C-A-P-E. -E. No, that's not right. E-S-C-A-P-E. Victim escape? Well, that doesn't make any sense. 
Oh, duh. There's two eyes. Victim. Victim helped? Are they trying to say victim helped? Like, Kokichi helped kill himself? Yeah. Okay, that one took a little bit more effort. I can't believe I overlooked this. What do you mean? There were only two people in the hangar at the time the bodies were swapped, which means they were working together. Huh? Working together? The only two people involved in the swap were the victim and the culprit. The culprit was operating the camera and the hydraulic press. So, I mean, like, I guess, I'm guessing what the explanation is going to be is that Kokichi wanted to slip, wanted to mess with the mastermind, the true mastermind, and Kaito wanted to save Maki. <laughs> Sorry, Shuichi. <laughs> oh, fuck, I hiccups. Then the person who turned the camera and the press back on was the original victim. To put it simply, both people operated the press and camera at different times. An impossible trick, unless the victim and culprit agreed to cooperate. Drink some water, maybe it'll help. Culprit cooperated? I can feel it's not, though. You know how, like, when you have hiccups and you can just, like, feel it? It sounds bizarre, but perhaps that was the whole point. Commit a crime that was so confusing, even Monokuma would be tricked. Jeez! This culprit's a real jerk. Oh, commit a crime that's just so convoluted so and confusing, no one will get it. So in other words, it's Danganronpa. Well, that means it has to be Kaito. Yeah, it has to be Kaito then. It means Kokichi died. The apparent victim we saw in the video was Kaito. Which means... Kokichi was operating the hydraulic press and camera. At first, if the two of them switched while the press was stopped. Okay, so unfortunately, so here's the thing, though. I'm I'm, I'm really curious how they're gonna address this. If they were doing this to overthrow the mastermind, that means Shuichi's just fucking it all up. I mean, he's doing it to save everybody, but like, I'm curious to see what the outcome, the reaction to that is gonna be. So, the person inside that exosol isn't Kokichi. It has to be Kaito. What did you say? So the oh, the Exos Exosol doesn't have a portrait then. Kaito Momota. That is what the ultimate detective has deduced, right? Kaito is the culprit? What? You're joking, right? You can't be serious. I don't want to believe it either. But it's the only way any of this makes sense. My detective work has led me to the conclusion. That Kaito is the culprit. Is that true? Is Kaito really in there? Hey, answer us! If you really are Kaito, then... I'm the culprit. Maki! There's just no way that... Oh, are we about to do an argument, argument, argument against Maki? Because I'm the culprit. That's 100% about to happen, huh? But didn't you say... I saw it with my own eyes. Kokichi drank the antidote that he stole from Kaito. There's no doubt Kaito died. And he died because of my poison arrow. But you told us you didn't want to kill Kaito! Yes, I never wanted to. I wanted to believe that I didn't kill him. But the truth speaks differently. In the end, I was just running away from the facts. Huh? I don't understand. You trying to protect Kaito? If he's the culprit, are you trying to get him help him get away? Only one antidote, so it's more likely he died from my poison arrow. This is the truth. It's not decided yet. I could have still killed him with the hydraulic press. Either way, those are the two options. Monokuma knows the answer, right? Huh? Are those the only options? I guess that's how things turned out. No, that can't be. The person in that exosol is. It's not Kaito. I saw Kokichi drink the antidote. There's no mistake. Kaito is dead. I killed Kaito. There's absolutely no doubt. 
That's the truth. Oh, Maki Roll. I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm I'm kinda with Shuichi. I don't think he would just kill to kill. I'm guessing it's because he was trying to protect somebody. You saw him drink it right in front of you, but you couldn't confirm he actually did. That animation of like where he did it was kinda weird. I will say it was kinda weird they didn't show it. All right, here we go. Worst mechanic in the game. Oh, it's a cool outfit, though. I killed Kaito. You're the one who's wrong. He died from my poison arrow. There's no other possibility. What do you know? I killed Kaito. The art is cool. You're the one who's wrong. But, like... Man, like I don't, I don't like arguing armament. Doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth. But you keep it's also one of those ones that, like, if you mess it up, if if you mess up the timing, you mess up the whole thing. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm telling you, this is the truth. I found that bobbing my head to the beat tends to help for some reason. You can't see me doing it. Like, for some reason, no, like, keeping wrong. up with that way <laughs> physically helps a lot. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. And I say as I miss I all those. I, saw, I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Oh my god. I know what I saw. I was at the scene. So I know I'm not wrong. I'm sorry I kept quiet till now. I wanted to believe I didn't kill him. But I won't run away from the truth anymore. Because I know what I saw. I was at the scene. Final blow. Well, she didn't lose all of her things. Pretended to drink the antidote. Oh, never mind. There they go. There she lost all of her clothes. Because this is a fucking weird ass game. Kokichi just pretended to drink the antidote. He didn't actually drink it. He pretended to drink it? Can't believe Kokichi lied again. was part of his lie. Maki could only see so much through the window. She didn't confirm Kokichi drank it. I believe that Kokichi knew this and just pretended to drink the antidote. After Maki left, he gave the antidote to Kaito. I mean, you believe that's what happened, but is that actually what happened? Like, here's the thing. Like, Shuichi's, Shuichi's going off of, like... Shuichi's kind of going off of some conjecture here, too. Like, it makes more sense along the lines of, like, getting them cooperate later, though. I guess that's why it works. Cooperation was essential to Kokichi's plan. However, I don't think Kokichi would be able to sway... Yeah, here we go. That's what he's talking about. He needed leverage. He gave Kaito the antidote in exchange for his cooperation. In exchange for his own life, you mean? Kaito had no choice. He had to cooperate after Kokichi saved his life. That's just Kaito's character. And Kokichi knew that. He swallowed his pride with the antidote and agreed to participate in Kokichi's plan. But didn't Kokichi make this plan? What good is it for him if he's dead? I imagine this was all part of Kokichi's plan to confuse us. You wouldn't think that someone would plan their own murder. He went so far as to give up his life just to create this mystery? Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious. Only Kokichi could think of something so nefarious and convoluted and kind of assholeish. I bet Kokichi was determined to beat me at my own game, no matter what. But too bad, Shuichi figured out the truth. Are you sure it's not delusion? 
Delusion? A delusion completely off the mark. To make you think that I die. But who cares what you guys think? This is between me and Monokuma. I don't give a crap if the extras in this game get it right or not. Extras? I'm fine with being an extra. <laughs> I don't mind being a background character. If we're just extras, then even if we get it wrong, we won't get killed. Again, some I still kill you. <laughs> don't <freak over> <laughs> 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 okay, the read on that was really funny. <laughs> no, I still kill you all. <laughs> That's really good. That was very good. I love that. No, 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 no. I'm still gonna get you. You're still gonna die. <laughs> Why this plan? You must have a reason. Turn that reason must reveal you. Think Kaito is the culprit. Thinking of it that way makes all the pieces fit. I will show you the truth. The truth you can't deny. Closing argument. All right. Um, what do we got here? Receiving the item from Himiko. This is crossbow. Who did Maki? Who did him? Let's see what we got first. The only antidote. Nexusol, Trail of Blood, Electro Bomb. Yeah, so Maki hit the Axisol with that. Where did the culprit shoot Kokichi? Who, what opened the shutter? Got's eye in the hangar. Who was hit by the first arrow Maki fired? The first one was Kaito, but we don't have that one yet. Who was hit by the second arrow? No, Kokichi was hit with the second one. The first one was, first one was uh, Kokichi, the second one was Kaito. What did Kokichi take from the culprit, from Antidote? I like how like, <laughs> Even though they have him like grayed out because you know he's the culprit, he's still wearing the Kaito jacket. <laughs> it's so silly. After Maki left, what which what weapon did Kokichi take out? Electro bomb. Who actually drank the antidote? Kaito actually drank it. We don't have that yet. What evidence did the culprit leave in the bathroom? Is the bath is the clothes? Why was Kokichi dragged? He's dragged for the blood. Who was put in the hydraulic press first? Kaito was put in first. Who was put in last? Kokichi was put in last. Put him in there without a shirt. What evidence did the culprit flush down the toilet? They flushed the clothes, but not very well. <laughs> okay. So he put together. Yeah, so he got, got the crossbow from him ago. Where did the culprit shoot Kukichi? No. Kaito drank the antidote. All right, so we got them all. Now we just have to use them. Kokichi's back. That's where he got shot first. Who got shot second? Culprit's left arm. We can't just call him Kaito. We don't know yet. What of us do you leave the bathroom? No, that's not right. The three arrows he left those in the bathroom. That's the first, like, that's the first time I've gotten one of those wrong. Yeah, okay. That's the first time I've gotten one of those wrong. I've never seen the X. That's the first time it's ever happened. This is the truth of the uh, okay, I'm gonna speed through this because I hate these. They go way too slow. 
Humble Braff. <laughs> they just go way too slow, and they're just like, it, it, it's, it's, no, there's no point. Like, the little manga comics are cool, but I'm okay with just, like, looking at the art. I don't, literally this whole thing, we, we just went through this whole case. We don't have to hear Shuichi sum the whole thing up. It's fine. <laughs> He does look cool. I imagine Gokichi was kind of like, man, I can't believe people tried to kill me over Kaido. What? It's like, damn, Kaido, I can't believe you had Himiko bring you a crossbow and you shot me. I can't believe Maki showed up in an exosol. Who could have predicted this? She ran away. And again, the hydraulic press was still working, though. Everything else failed, but not the hy hydraulic press, which was not running on electricity somehow. Steam powered. <laughs> The very st the steampunk murder weapon. The very first steampunk murder weapon. And then we changed jackets. We took off our we took off our clothes together. And the very then we just you know that's what we did. He wanted to win the killing game. Even if it meant dying <laughs> We're coming up on three hours. My jokes are getting a little... Uh, they're, they're running out of steam. <laughs> we're probably going to... We're going to get to the end of this chapter, and then we'll uh, we'll call it for today. Yeah, like, look, right there. It's electricity. It was running on electricity. Come on. Are you kidding me? The culprit is in that exosol. It's you, isn't it? Kaito Momota, the ultimate astronaut. I'm right, aren't I? I guess that's you in there, isn't it, Kaito? I guess in hindsight, if they're built, if they're bringing together kids who are gonna like fly a spaceship, having an ultimate astronaut and like an ultimate mechanic and an ultimate robot. Would all be pretty important, huh? Really? I must reluctantly agree with Shuichi's deduction. I don't know about Ultimate Cosplayer, though. I'm not sure, like, I guess just, like, you know, making outfits. Man! Shuichi sure loves his career <laughs> yeah. easy deductions! Huh? Or an Ultimate Magician, just, you know, so they don't get bored. <laughs> Speaking, his deduction tracks. If it's really Kaito in there, he would have admitted it by now. Shuichi's reasoning wrong somehow? He wouldn't have admitted it if he's trying to protect Maki specifically. You plan but then, set, no, because he'd still be getting already killed. Evidence, he, wouldn't be, he wouldn't be protecting Maki, would he? Alright, well, I'm not sure then. I'm not sure why he did this, other than maybe to be like, yeah, man, we gotta get the mess mine. When the hydraulic press stopped for a minute. But that's just speculation in the so if we reverse our it's totally possible, it's not just well, it's No, we should trust Shuichi's deduction. I'm sure everything will be okay. With this emotion I've learned. I believe you call it faith. That's what I feel right now. That's right. Well, I don't care either way. You'll have to deal with Monokuma. What will the results of this voting time be? If Monokuma makes a mistake, he won't be able to execute anyone. Oh, I see what they're doing. And it will be my victory. And Monokuma makes a mistake. I see what they're doing. That's your objective. You need to ruin the killing game. That's why Kaido's been so stubborn all this time. What does he mean by ruin exactly? Monokuma can do whatever he wants the rules. How do you ruin something like that? 
start the voting already. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting to it. Sheesh! Let's proceed with voting time, shall we? Sorry I fell short of your expectations, but I'm pretty sure I won't make any mistakes. Because I got the ultimate detective's airtight logic on my side. Well, here's the thing. It's going to be Kaido, and, like, this whole plan's going to fall apart. <laughs> and Shuichi's like, oh, I fucked up. Oops. Oh wait, what? Hmm? There's more to talk about? You see, before we vote, there's something I have to say. I just need you all to listen. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. We're still going. Shit. All right, let's pin this down. Who is inside that exosol? Uh, Kaito. Kaito, right? No, he he knows it's Kaito. He's trying to he's trying to he's trying to give Kaito like an alley oop here. And the culprit is Kaito standing right there. Isn't that correct? <laughs> of course not. I would never die. I trust Shuichi. Okay, so there's the only one on Monokuma. This is the lying music, as we established. It's not actually lying music. I think we gotta lie. I think we gotta like. I think we're trying to fuck with Monokuma. All right, let's okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let's try it. Let's, let's do this. Hmm? Kaito, right? That's what you said, isn't it? Kokichi's the one. Yeah. Perjury. Kokichi, I'm sorry. I just can't lie for you anymore. What? What do you mean, lie? Why did you say Kokichi? The one in the exit. <laughs> Alright, now you gotta do another manga page, except now you gotta make it look like it's Kokichi. Huh? <laughs> the truth is, after we found the crushed body, I saw Kokichi. You saw Kokichi? Yes. He threatened me. Told me that if I didn't do what he said, he'd kill us all. He wanted me to lie. Hello, Al. Saw, so that the trial would be more interesting. But I can't do it anymore. I can't keep lying like this. I have to tell the truth. Kokichi isn't dead. He's alive. Hold on. Why did you wait until now to mention this? I'm so sorry, Kibo, but it's true. I really am sorry, but this is the only way. Kaito's trying to fool Monokuma, trying to ruin the class trial. Kaito's risking his life to do this, and I'll stand by him. I'm going to risk my life and everybody else. I mean, like, no, I'm with Shuichi on this. Like, you guys have to take a stand against Monokuma. Like, that's how it works in these games. Like, you have to, like, you can't just go along with the class trial every single time. Because that, that's how it was That's how it was in the no first game, it. too. You had to trust Kyoko. He's the culprit. Even though, like, it, it was going to get you killed, you had to trust Kyoko to disrupt the game. Because hey, Monokuma, you know. But as far as I'm concerned, you guys aren't extras at all. If you guys are wrong, you're going to have to take your punishments like champs. Got it? <laughs> Aw. I like Kibo. I'm not wrong. Unfortunately, he didn't make it onto the BFF list this time. But if I have to hang out with somebody, I'll hang out with Kibo. Stop it. That's enough. Huh? It's over. Kaito. If you guys get it wrong and Monokuma gets it right, then you'll all get punished. Well, so much for that. There's no way I can let that happen. I mean, I get you, buddy, but come on, man. So, it's fine. Let's end this. But now we have to take a stand. K Kaito! So, it really was you? My bad for tricking you guys. I'll explain everything. But before that, it's voting time. 
All right, don't get it wrong. I'm definitely the culprit. You got it? I'm the one who killed Kokichi. Kaito, no! Just like you to figure it all out, Shuichi. You're really something else. So all you gotta do is believe in your reasoning. That's what detectives do. Hey, Monokuma, let's hurry up and get this vote started! <laughs> well said. Let's get this started, then! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face-off! It's voting time! Ah, uh, okay. I want to vote for myself. No. <laughs> Maki doesn't have, like, an assassin portrait or anything. I mean, like, Kaito's probably also right. Monokuma also probably would have just killed us all. <laughs> it seems the but has hopefully this leads to something good. See the result. Well, everybody voted for him, though. Oh, thank you for the follow. <laughs> as the blackened. Will you make the right choice? I mean, I think I think Monokuma really did have no idea who did it the whole time. Like literally we could have like we could have said Kokichi and he would have been like, "You're right." Just like in the first game. Like, just like in the first game when it was just like, oh, yeah, guys, it was totally Makoto. Or it was like, it was totally Kyoko. Well, damn. You got it all right, just because, you know, he confessed. I didn't actually know. But you know. I mean, sure, he wrote some of his own lines. Look at the huge... <laughs> Kokichi wrote a whole script for him. That's incredible. And he was dying of poison when he did that. That's really funny. Damn. Come on, man. Why? He's dying of poison wearing 50 pages of dialogue. <laughs> really, though. I like to think he just kind of, like, had it. He's like, in the event that someone has to kill me, here, read from this script. After Kokichi pretended to take the antidote, he gave it to me. I mean... Hey! Plan? What plan? What? Ah. What? And this boring killing game. Yeah. <sighs> I understand. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to make a controversial opinion a statement. I understand Kokichi's not a villain and that he was trying to save people. You could have just told him, dude. You could have just talked to him, dude. <laughs> I understand. That wouldn't be fun, though. It's a video game. It's a video game. It's got to be fun. The story's got to be fun. I understand. It's okay. But, like, it's still kind of one of those things just like communication. <laughs> Kokichi's not the only one who, like, is guilty of this either. This happens in every single game. <laughs> If it happens in their single game with everybody, everybody gets so fucking convoluted about what they're doing. They wouldn't have believed Kikichi. Yeah, I mean, they wouldn't have believed him because he was, you know... Uh, I guess that was just kind of the bed he made for himself since, since, since from the beginning. Hee <laughs> hee. 
And they would have worked too, except uh, I got oh. jumpy. So, so I, I was afraid it wasn't going to happen. Which, to be fair, I mean, Monokuma, again, guys, like everyone's like, yeah, Monokuma would definitely. I really. Really truly, really, if Kogichi and Kaito wanted to ruin Tilly and the correct solution would be neither of them have died, then prove that Monokuma is fallible. Either way, the trial continues. Monokuma said, You're right, Scott. I think Monokuma would be wrong. The only way to beat the killing game is for no killing to take place. I really thought that's what, what what happened when I first played this case. That was kind of one of my theories, too. Like, about what happened was that neither of them died. Like, that would have been interesting. I guess the question at that point, though, was that they still would have had to, like, prove a body was found, though, right? But the other thing is that again, that like Monokuma isn't as it as it like doesn't adhere to his rules as much as everybody thinks it says he does. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure like what the rules would have been at that point. They would have had to hide. They would have had to make it so that like they would have had to make sure that um yeah, but they well. This, here's the thing: they would have had to hide two like bodies, I guess, because what happened was like Monokuma knew that the survivor was in the Exosol. He didn't know who it was, but he knew that one of them was in it because when they said bring in the person, the Exosol came in. So like, you thought they were both just pushed together? Yeah, but then that goes against the logic they set up in the trial, which is that only one person can fit in there. And like, it's kind of one of those things that like, you have to be careful, like from a, from a, like a mystery gameplay point of view, you have to be careful about, you have to, you have to be careful about, um, making evidence that lies, if that makes sense. Like, so if you say only one person can fit in the Exosol, you got to be really careful about being like, well, no, actually two people could fit if one of the people was really small and they got really close together and we could write some fanfic about their perspective from the trial where they're both pressed up against each other the whole time <laughs> but you know what i mean um from a gameplay from a gameplay point of view i understand why they couldn't do that what did you say? it could have been if, if things had been different if things had been different things have been different yeah, that's how it is. But unfortunately, that's not what happened. This is what happened. Listen up. We can always write our fix it fix. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> you guys. Well. Well then. Incomprehensible. Hey. Huh? It's kind of hard to annoy him. Such an annoying dead guy. What? Don't screw around. Ah. <laughs> well, you know. What? You. You. <laughs> I'm so evil, I'll sacrifice myself. I mean, again, it is like a case of like, is he doing it to save everyone? Maybe. <laughs> or is he doing it for his own satisfaction? Maybe. Hard to tell. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of Maki and Kaito's fault in a way. But the other thing is, is that, you know, Kokichi came out, said, I'm the mastermind. And at that point, everyone's like, oh, you're the mastermind. So if we kill you, the game is over. <laughs> so like Maki fucked up. Kokichi put him in a pos himself in the position for Maki to fuck up. <laughs> It's not. It's 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 not like a clear. I wouldn't say it's a clear cut thing. Could it be? What are you talking about? My bad. Huh? 
but you know. He's fine during the medical exam, and that means this might be the virus. What? what? Virus? So Kaito's not actually immune to it. Oh, that's the implication they're going with. Could it be? But well, to tell you the truth, what did you say? Jeez. But you know, hey, so <laughs> here's the whole outline. Huh? Well done. Well done. That's right. Got it. That's my sidekick. Why? Then. Ah. What's that mean? I mean. Got it. Huh? Yeah. But. What? Hey. Hey, so. In the end, even his, even his motives were lies. It's a lie. But even at the end, I really don't understand this guy. Maybe that's what lying is all about. The truth is in the eye of the beholder. So remember, kids, it's okay to lie. <laughs> Just kidding. When you laid your psychic, you told me you take responsibility. Kaito, this baby, it's yours. Can't be without his father. Oh, well, there he goes. Well, Monica's are back. <laughs> you thus. Again, it's like Monokuma's like, wow, something horrible's happening. Better to have something really wacky to happen now. Yeah, I remember saying that the Monoku might just bring back the Monocubs. I mean, there's no reason not to. Yeah, the robots, dude. We can just like you know make new ones. Finding other people, because it turns out is this gonna be like again going back to my theory of like maybe the V and V three stands for virtual. Maybe this is kind of like not all. Maybe there's something like si a simulation y going on. I won't let you kill him. We'll see. We'll see what's going on there. No. Wait, hold on. Uh, I never felt this way before. Uh, she loves him. Yep. Oh, wow. Dude, they just they just out and said it. What? No. I won't let you kill him. My bad. Uh, I... Hey, so. 
so. That's right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Come on, man. I believe in you. Uh, okay. I'll endure it. <laughs> I. Please do not worry. Shuichi! Uh, okay. The impossible is possible! Okay. Makiro! Soy. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Alright! I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary. Okay, okay. Get ready! It's punishment! Well, the first game had a punishment for, like, the first guy where he shot him off in a rocket. So I'm kind of curious to see what it's going to be for Kaito. Are they going to retread that ground? The answer is, uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, we don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Well, wait, this is the rocket from the first game. Second ignition. Yeah, I know that's a that's totally a callback to the first game. Or not. <laughs> You're not going to space, you're going in the complete opposite direction. Oh wait, no, he made it. Check it out. Error confirmed. Died with a smile on his face. Execution failed. Oh no! <laughs> Didn't get to have the satisfaction. Died first. Did Kibo just lose his antenna? Is that what happened? In that scene? Monoku was pissed. <laughs> uh -huh. You didn't get the satisfaction. <laughs> Oh yeah, look, it's gone. You don't have it anymore. Shuichi didn't lose his 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 idiot hair though. Oh, Kibo. Well. Hey. Yeah. Because. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kibo immediately goes Terminator and starts Actually. killing people. Actually, never mind. Blast everybody. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you. Un Unbrainwashes you.
not in Junko again, is it? It can't be Junko again. They're not gonna make. They have. They can't make a Junko again. Okay. It's not gonna be her again, man. Come on. <laughs> That'd be so lame. It's done. We've had two and a half games of Junko. She doesn't have to come back. <laughs> oh. Hey. Okay. Sorry. What? Uh um. Well. Huh? Hey. Uh, okay. I mean, I was about to say, like, oh, everyone's here except Kibo. Something happened to Kibo we haven't realized yet. We're all going to work out together. It's going to be great. Let your sweat wash away all your sadness, fear, worry, hardships. Just start moving your body and your pain will become memories before you know it. Yeah, that's about how going to the gym is. Then you should train too. Well, I don't have anything to worry about. Because, I mean, I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Hey, no fair, Kaito. Hey! Oh, by the way... I'm the Kibo. I don't know. He, like, lost his, like, idiot hair, and then, you know, nobody knows what happened after that. It's quiet. Too quiet. And yet, this silence is quite refreshing. I used to hear my inner voice with perfect clarity. It would fill me with the power of hope, guide me along the right path. I can't hear it anymore. All I hear now is silence. Oh that shit. Silence means my will is now my own. That antenna was his moral compass. We destroyed it. Even if despair is all we have to choose. Even if hope no longer exists, I will never give in to despair. I I will end this. No matter what, I will force this to end. This school, this ultimate academy for gifted juveniles. Oh shit, he gave himself an arm cannon. He is gonna just go full Terminator on our ass. And I will destroy it. Oh, okay. I have already bet already went back to bed. Okay, well. Oh yeah, shit just got real. You got the galactic jacket. I do like Kaito's jacket of how it has like a little like galaxy on the inner on the inside of it. Okay, we're gonna stop there. Um, I think that's a good place to stop. Uh, next week, we might stream some more. I don't know. We'll try. Um, we're getting very close. We're very close to the end now, I think. I think we can probably knock this out in about two or three more sessions. So maybe like one more weekend of streaming and we'll be done with Danganronpa, hopefully. Regardless, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you are watching and have not followed, please give the channel a follow. We try to stream on Saturday and Sunday. And if you are following, consider subscribing. 
until then, have a good rest of your evening. See you next time. Bye-bye.